Hey guys, I'm just turning the mic on and the coming soon off a little early here. Um, I'm going to get started probably in five, maybe ten minutes, but uh, just trying to say hello to everybody in the chat. I got tired of typing because I'm just sitting here. I got my road soda here. I got my half dollars out. Uh, let's see here. I've said hi to most of you already in the chat. Uh, Jeff Pro Provost, welcome. Doing well, Vincent? Been busy, busy, busy of late. I've had, hardly had time to hunt coins. Uh, so uh, I've been dying to try out this new vertical format stuff everybody's been doing. So I thought I had some halves to hunt, so I may as well give it a go. Adam says, welcome, Adam Franklin. Currently hunting a couple sister boxes. First had 340s, three NIFCs. Halfway through, 140, one NIFC. Hey, man, any box that has a silver is a win. So, win in my book. Type, 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 Papa Giorgio says. Hey, Marshall Quigley, welcome to the stream. We'll be hunting some half dollars. And so you guys know, I have two boxes tonight. I know it's, I'm getting started late. It's like 9.30. I just wanted to try out this vertical format, see how it, was, how it would work. Um... See, maybe maybe learn a little bit tonight because I've never done it before. And uh, I know it's uh, perhaps maybe a little frustrating because the screen's small unless you're on your phone. But uh, looks like uh, we could have some fun tonight. So I'm excited to get into some half dollars here in just a little bit. So how are you all doing tonight? Busy, uh, busy Saturdays for you guys? Because I know today, I what did I do? I smoked two chickens for dinner. Did a ton of grocery shopping. Ran around town. Worked in the yard. Busy day. Busy day. So Jeff's still working on a bag of quarters. Hey man, those W's are getting elusive. I mean, they, it was 2019 and 2020. So we are, we are far enough away that uh, a lot of them have been plucked from, from existence out and out in the wild. So, um, I want to who was I talking to the other day? They got like four or five or six of them, but they hunted two or three boxes. Um, I haven't found a W in my last couple of quarter hunts, so they are getting tough to find. I think the weird symbols on there, that was like Juju or I forget the guy's name. You were on the live stream. Welcome back. Walked and cleaned. It was beautiful today. All the kids were out in the neighborhood playing. It was cool. You got three 1912D nickels for a buck each out of a junk bin. Faz the Clown says. Picked up my second AMP 2019W for some spare change. That's awesome. Anytime you can find W, I mean, anytime you find anything in spare change, it's amazing. Um, and you guys probably see in my, my uh, little scope here. This is my little gas station find that I did a short about. Um, so yesterday or day before, yeah, I went into my quick trip to sell them some quarters and asked for, I asked if they had any strange money or currency people had used to buy stuff lately. And the guy he did, he whipped out a, a little, like it was like a small Dixie cup and it probably had about 25 or $30 worth of Sacagaweas in it and probably about seven or $8 worth of halves. And there were two 1964, 90% silver halves in it. And I didn't make a big deal out of it. I just said, hey, I'll give you a buck for those. And he said, no, no problem. Handed them over. So, you know, when you can pull out $20 worth of silver and not have to hunt through box after box, that's a win, man. Let's hear Dan M says, good luck on the hunt. Thank you. Adam says, just hunted a quarter box last week and found a silver Washington and two W's. Very nice. Finding silver is even harder than finding W's these days. I, I got a silver quarter back in February, I think, and that was my first silver quarter in probably seven, eight, nine months. It's been a long, long time. So 1098 Media, I have about $200 worth of uh, copper pennies and in, in, in my very little bit of spare time. I'm actually going back through them and pulling out all the red and BU ones and, and sorting them by date. Um, I'm not sorting by mint mark. I'm just sorting by date and rolling them up and using my my little 3D 
crimpers to, to put nice ends on them so they stack easily. But uh, that's awesome. Clown question mark. Yikes, G-A-L-O. I didn't get the clown comment. Fourth silver quarter is awesome. That's amazing. All right, gang. So what time is it? It is 9.32. We got 39 of you currently viewing. Because I'm doing vertical format, if I did this right, I believe it's going to show up in the shorts feed. So we may have a lot more people enter the stream than I'm used to. So bear with me if I get behind on the chat. If any of you guys know the answers to people's questions as they come through, please feel free to answer that question. Ah, you said clown instead of coyote. I got you. Oops, you lost me. Did, did, did anyone else lose me? All right. So here's our box of halves. I know my screen is really, really small. It's hard to see. But uh, it's right here. I've already opened it. Uh, I can tell you guys it's got a lot of 2022 enders. I actually have two boxes, and we have lots and lots of 2022 enders. So let me see if I can turn my computer here. What's up, MB? How are you? But I have lots and lots of rolls that look like this. I don't know if you can see down in there, but that is a 2022 Philadelphia. And I've got a lot of them that are that way on both ends. Like this is probably going to be a full roll of 2022 Phillies. So we'll see. Let's hope not. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to jump into these. Yeah, so Dan M, I, I did turn on ads tonight, so it will pop out occasionally. I did say, like, be very, what was the right word? I think I said balance. So you guys let me know about those ads because I, I, I think I did it in one other stream before. And if it's really annoying, let me know because I just don't know how often it's going to pitch up ads. And again, it's just something I'm playing with. So again, happy to get feedback tonight and hopefully not, not pissing anybody off. So... Yeah, we'll jump to a commercial, and it's not going to be the same for everybody. It's going to randomly do that to people. So, um, again, all right, here we go. Let me get this thing out of the way. And I know I asked this, but you guys, this is all showing up in vertical format. Fill in your whole phone screen if you're on your phone. It's not a vertical format inside of a rectangular box. Just let me know if that is the case. Um, I'm very curious because maybe I started the stream wrong. I don't know because I've never done it before. So here we go with roll number one. I'm going to go ahead and get my 1964 real quick. And for those of you who want to see them, here they are again. I will be putting them in the treasure chest. In my last video where I showed off the five, I think I had five 40% silvers and I asked people to tell me, should I throw them in the chest or not? Uh, I think everyone said throw them in the chest. So if I find stuff like this in the future and in the last one, th those will go right in the treasure box. So you guys know. And I am much, much closer to the mat than usual. So if I'm off, let me know because it's a very, very small space for me to work in. And I'm not really used to it. So, and we'll hunt these a little bit differently than we have in the past. Look at that grease strike. Good Lord. That is a lot of grease. And let me do that again. Make sure you guys are seeing. Yeah, the same thing I am. Good. Awesome. I am not going to put every single 71 under the scope. Like, he's got a big gash going through his head, so I'm not going to scope every one of them. For those of you that are curious, the 2022 Philadelphia, brand new. They were originally meant to be not intended for circulation coins, but uh, because of COVID, the Mint ended up dumping them, just about all of them, actually, um, into the banking system. And uh, so they are no not considered not intended for circulation anymore. Ugly coins. Where'd my bin go? Just brought it over here. Hang on, guys. Where'd I put my blue bin?
All right, the chat got awfully quiet. You guys all doing all right? I hope so. I have also set up, at least what I hope, should be a number of timers that will kick off and just do things like join the channel or links to my store or any of that kind of stuff. So I'm kind of trying to pay attention to that too, just to see how that's working out. Hey, VR Blade, how are you, sir? I'm assuming, sir, if I got that wrong, let me know. So if you guys see these really blingy edges when I hold it like this, that super blingy edge, those are all gonna be 2022s. I'm not gonna stop and show you every one. But just I'll show you this one. Again, 22 Philly, we're gonna have lots and lots of those. So who in the chat does not coin roll hunt? I'm really curious how many newbies we have versus I know a number of you have already told me that you're hunting coins right now. So I know you're coin roll hunters, but if you're not a coin roll hunter, let me know. Am I planning on raffling any rolls tonight? So I'm gonna get into this box. I will probably give some rolls away. That's just something I do to keep it interesting for people. But uh, I just want to kind of get into this box and see what it looks like to see if that's even an interesting thing. And if if all the rolls end up looking like this, it won't be too interesting because I probably have one, two, three, four. I have six non-2022s in that roll. There's one. That's a 74. I got an 82. That's a Philly. We've got an FG. 74 and an 81. Eighty-four Philly and eighty-eight. Sounded funny. So yeah, I will probably raffle off some rolls, man. Yeah, me too. I hope it is luckier than last time as well, because last time was pretty sad. But this is kind of how it works, you know. It's it's a volume game, and I went box after box after box of getting silver. Got something funky looking here. I don't think it's going to be silver, but it's it's, it's a off color. Um, but I do. I'll go through, you know, a ton of boxes where I find silver, at least one, and then I will go, you know, four, six, eight, ten, twelve without silver. And so those boxes are far less fun. That's for sure. All right, that was just a busted seventy-seven. It looked silvery, and I think there's an error planchet on that. But I can see the, I can see the copper uh, line in the rim. So, not going to be silver. And you'll notice I'm hunting these different just due to the amount of space that I have to show you guys the coins. Up to fifty six in the stream. Welcome anybody that's new. Are the 25 any gold plated 50 cent have value? Brando, restate that. I'm not sure what you mean there. Are the 25 any gold? I don't, I don't know what that means. I <laughs> see the antics GA gets up to. That's funny. Cuban guy. I'm a young collector, and to fulfill my stacking collection goals, I'm going to start selling coin collector starter kits. Anyone have any recommendations? Already made the order for coins in the kit. Um, so you're looking to put together little starter kits for other collectors? Are you asking like what would you what would people recommend you put in your kit or how to sell it? Like I don't know if I understand your question. There's a 25 year anniversary coin, gold plated and punched 1960, 1985. Yes, I have found those and uh, there's not a lot of value in them. They were, when they came out, they sold for, I wanna say like $5.99 back in the day. And uh, today, if you find one in decent enough condition, you might get a couple of bucks for it. But 
The uh, gold plating doesn't add a whole lot of value, if any. Um, check eBay sold listings for comps, but I want to say last time I looked, they weren't worth a whole lot. JR says Nicodate. Okay. Um, I use Nicodate on my, my buffaloes when I can't get a year off of them. You're welcome, Brando. So far, this has just been a bunch of clad and a lot of 2022s. For the starter kits, I again, I still don't... If you've already ordered the coins to put in them, I don't know what question you have. Like, again, what, what, where to sell them, how to box them, how to ship them. Unless I misunderstood your your earlier point about already ordering coins. Uh, so Faz the uh, Coyote. I might have said Faz the Clown earlier. Yeah, Faz the Coyote. Then uh, I agree with that, right? If you're uh, if you're looking for other things to put in the kit. Yeah, I've seen, um, I forget the guy's name, Cyberduck or something like that. I can't remember. I forget his name. He does, he's got some eBay like grab bags and that's something cool that he does in all of his grab bags. He puts in like extra flips, um, both I think vinyl and the cardboard type. And um, he might even do like a little stapler or something like that. Like I, I think that's actually a really good idea to go. All of these have a, I've got a bunch of these 71 D's with a giant scratch right through Kennedy's head. So I haven't really been scoping them for the DDO, that one as well. Um, but that's a really good idea. Stapler and some flips. Uh, extremely faint FGs aren't worth anything to most collectors. Most collectors that are looking for no FGs want no FG. Like they want it to be completely missing. Or I think in the case of the 72, you can have a little bit like, here, I'll just put one up on the scope for you guys to see. The FG on this one, it's really far away from the leg, but on the 82 or the 72, that F and G actually almost touch the corner of the leg there or the side of the leg. And if you just get the tips of the F and the G, I think that still qualifies. Uh, but for most collectors, if you can see that FG at all, they're not interested. This is roll number eight, everybody. Oh, what you should price them at. Well, yeah, then we need to know. Indian head penny, V-nickel, buffalo nickel, wheat penny, bicentennial quarter, mercury dime, W with dates. Um... You're going to pick these up. I think it all, I mean, I would price, obviously you want to price all of it so that there's some profit built in. And I would be going to eBay to see what they go for raw. Uh, and then I, you know, you know what you paid for them. And then you need to factor in, let's say eBay is going to be your selling hub. You got to remember, they're going to take 15% of every sale. You got to figure in your shipping costs, including your materials. And then you got to figure out how much money you want to make on top of that and price it that way. So it's tough for, I think, anybody to say, hey, that's $20 or $15. or It's tough to say because you got to figure all that stuff into your sale. Um, and then the only difference there would be if you have your own storefront, you know, you got to figure in probably your 3.9% transaction fee or your 2.9% transaction fee. Um one little off-color guy there. I don't think it's going to be silver, silver, but it's just slightly off-color. God, I can't hang on the coins today. Yep, JR agrees. Depends on what you paid for the coins. Oh, yeah. Sorry, bud. Okay. Well, Adam, thanks for the feedback on the ads. Like I said, I'm just trying it out tonight. See how it goes.
Got a 2020 quarter and change today. I checked for the W mint mark and sadly was a P. Never have found a W. I think I have only found, I got a W out of a coin uh, star the other day. And the funny thing is I didn't even see it till I got home. Um, Cause I was gonna do a short about finding the change in the, in the coin star. And I quickly just rummaged through it looking for silver and there was none. So I didn't do a short. And then when I got home, I pulled it all out of my pocket and started going through it. And there was actually a W in it. I don't remember what the design was. And this was probably a couple of months ago. Um, but that may be one or one of two W's I think I've actually found just in pocket change. Um, I've gotten all mine through coin roll hunts. Here's roll number 10. Yeah, it's weird that the ads would be louder. It was $71 for the materials to make 10 kits. So at $7, 10, 10 cost, make the kit. And you said eBay takes 15%. So... Seventeen fifty. So if you sold it for seventeen fifty, eBay is going to take what is that? Call it two dollars and eighty cents. If I'm just doing some math in my head, so now you're down to let's call it two fifty to make the math easy. So that's fifteen in profit. You still have to ship it. It's going to cost you a minimum of probably three or four dollars to ship. Uh, track shipping. So now you're down to eleven. So you're going to make three or four bucks on every kit. Cuban guy, if, if that's the price you sell at. Oh, yeah, I can, uh, give me a second, I can do that. Um, that's good feedback. At least I think I can do that. So I'll move the video up. It's probably because the chat is running all over the screen, yeah. Give me a second. We're gonna unlock that, we'll unlock that. You guys still there? Sorry, I've been talking away here. Can you guys hear me now? Yep, so I was saying, uh, sorry, I'm going back. The uh, Cuban guy, I was saying, be careful on how much you sell that kit for, only because, you know, if you sell it for too much, people will be disappointed for getting so few, you know, such a small value of coins back out of it. So you got to find that happy medium, but you do, you do you. And uh, is the, is the screen a little bit better with the coins on top now? I know we lost the little black line. Sorry, I'll, I, that's not something I'm going to be able to fix easily or quickly. I don't think, maybe. Yeah, I can do that. There we go. All right, here we go. Awesome. Going very slow tonight, guys. 40 in the chat.
get into roll number 11. How do you guys feel about it? I'll maybe give away a couple of rolls here in a minute. So you guys just keep chatting. Let me get over to my screen here. You guys just keep chatting. So the way I'll do this is with Nightbot. I'm going to include mods. Five minute timeout. So as long as you guys are chatting, as soon as I say I'm going to give something away, I will use Nightbot to select a winner. Um, so I'm not doing it straight away, but I will pick a winner here in a little bit. So you guys just make sure you're active in the chat. Nice looking 71. No DDO, although this one's a little ugly there. Looked a little fishy. So these 72s have a DDO as well that I've started looking for. Haven't found one yet. I know Southern Metal found one the other day. I say the other day. Could have been several months ago at this point, but it feels like it was the other day. And I'm hoping for some silver too. All right, well, this is roll number 12. I'm going to give away rolls 13, 14, and 15 to someone in the chat here as soon as I'm done going through this roll. So chat away. I will hit the roll it button in just a moment, and hopefully it'll show up on screen because I don't think I have my desktop view pulled up. So hopefully that works. Is Nightbot been, been sticking his nose in and saying things or no? Let me see something. No, he hasn't? Okay. Let me see if that works. So Nightbot has not. Oh shoot, guys! I uh, reset the uh, reset the giveaway. So you guys, I'll give you like two minutes to chat. Make sure you chat. I forgot if I left that it would uh, reset it. So I'm sorry about that. Yeah, Nightbot is shy tonight. Let me see if I can do this. Yeah, that'll work. So you guys should be able to see that at this point. It'll be really, really small, but you can see it. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and pick somebody now, and uh, you'll get the next three rolls. It's rolls 13, 14, and 15 for free. If we find any silver, any errors, I'll ship those to you. Anything else, we just toss back um, just to keep it interesting for everybody in the chat. So we got 18 eligible. I know there's way more of you actually in, in the uh, stream, but uh, it is what it is. So we're going to go ahead and hit the button here in three, two, one. Let's go on to MB. It's really bugging me that that uh, MB is still here. It's bugging me that, that Nightbot is not participating in the chat, but it is what it is. You know what I'm going to do real quick? Me a second here, guys.
Sorry guys, I'm trying to get Nightbot in here. Okay, well, maybe Nightbot just joined. We'll see. Um, yeah, Nightbot's just not there. All right, so here we go. MB, sorry for the delays, guys. Trying to get that figured out on this one. Not working. Here we go with roll number 13. Looks like we got a bunch of 2022s. Seventy-two. Because we're looking for errors for you, let me make sure we actually look for all the errors. So nothing there. Twenty twenty-two. Twenty twenty-two. Twenty twenty-two. There is an FG on that guy. Somebody has literally taken a knife to a ton of these Kennedys. Really kind of hurts my feelings. Seriously. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like three quarters of the coins in here. Somebody's just taken a knife and run it down the edge of his face. All right, MB, number two of your three rolls. Good luck. Looks like we got a lot more 2022s. Yeah, I don't get as many 2021s as I get 20, I'm sorry, 2022s as I get 2021s. I don't know if I said that right. So I don't get a lot of 2022s, and I've just started getting 2023s. $2,095, with an FG. I'm not kidding, look at them, they're everywhere. Somebody needs to be shot. You should not do to that to coinage, man. And MB, good luck. Last roll. Lots of 2022s, sir. You had a 2000 in the last roll, but our NIFCs start at 2002. bad and beat up 74, but I'll check it for the DDO. All 2022s, 2022. Nope. So 71, which we can check for a DDO. Not there. And the 74. It's not there. Well, sorry about that, MB. We tried, but we didn't get there. Uh, so, Faz, they could be doing that to mark their search. Most people just use a marker rather than using a, a you know, gouging and destroying the coin. Why are they still making the halves, Taz? Mainly doing it for collectors today. And that's why the 21, 2, and 3 were meant to be not intended for circulation. Uh, but for whatever reason, coin shortage, COVID, so on and so forth, the Mint overproduced them and released them into the public. But typically, since 2002, the Mint has only made them for collectors. Um, and so people like me, people, they say, you know, they watch my channel or they find my channel and they're like, you know, where are you getting these halves? I've been to 20 banks and no one has any halves. And that's because banks don't carry them anymore uh, unless someone has ordered them. And uh, that's what I do. I have a bank, or actually I have two now, that order for me every week, and I get full boxes. So I'm not running around to banks trying to find them. The bank calls me and says, your half dollars have arrived. 
so I don't have to drive around town. Yeah, there are a lot of damaged coins in there. Yeah, usually it's a Sharpie, and we've seen a couple of them. Like, here's one right here, further down in the box. You know, people will write their name on it. They'll write an, an initial of their name. They will, you know, they'll do a lot of things, but they won't necessarily gouge the coins or destroy the coins. So that's kind of frustrating. But, oh, there's a 2020. Uh, we weren't giving away rolls on that one, but there's actually an NIFC, everybody. So we have one. And I need to reset my ticker. Give me a second. That ticker is wrong for tonight. See, our ticker now is no proofs, no 40s, no 90s. We've got one NIFC and no magic coins. That's now fixed. So Nightbot still is not popping up. That is really weird. Hang on guys, let me do something. I'm just being quiet over here. I'm trying to log back out and log back in as, uh, for some reason, I have two of my Georgia Silver Hunter accounts. Giveaways. No, that's not it. Okay. I was in the right one. Log in here, continue, allow. Yeah, really weird, really strange. Doesn't work. All right, let's see here. I really hope this hobby isn't going on by the wayside so fast. That is something I get asked all the time. And obviously, I mean, channels like mine, and I mean, it's become kind of a, a really fun hobby for people to do, especially with the concern that coins are eventually gonna get worked out of the system and it will all be digital. You know, that's the concern that uh, a lot of people have gotten into the hobby, and it is in fact making it harder for people to find stuff. So there's somebody who, not sure what that's supposed to be, but TC Infinity. Uh, but it makes it harder for other coin roll hunters to find stuff. It's like we were talking about with the W's earlier in the stream. I mean, they've been almost systematically plucked from uh, circulation. And so it's just harder for coin roll hunters to find them. All right, I, I got, uh, we're going to give away the next three rolls. It'll be rolls 19, 20, 21. So you guys make sure you are, in fact, chatting. And uh, we will pick somebody here in just a second. So many 2022s. All right, so only eight of you are eligible, so make sure you chat something. So Matthew said, to the bank. Now he has a half dollars. I don't have the financial capacity to order an entire box, but I will take whatever they might have. I mean, that's how you have to start, right, Matthew? I mean, a lot of a lot of the guys on YouTube, like myself, I mean, we roll anywhere from a thousand to five thousand dollars a week and change, and not everybody can do that. Um, so you you do what you can, you know, what's within your means. That's why a lot of people start with pennies because it's an easy way to start, and it's cheap. 
Matthew, that's awesome. If you have somebody that's pulling that stuff for you at the bank, most of the people I know that I've asked to do it already do it for themselves. So it makes it harder for me to get that stuff when the people that are doing the work actually keep it. So. You're missing a lot of them. We are gaming. All right, let me get back up here so you guys can see since Nightbot's not playing nice. Here we are. Hopefully you guys can see that now. And we're going to pick somebody here. We got 16 eligible, so we're going to pick them right now in three, two, one. Papa Giorgio is the winner of the next three rolls. Congratulations. All right, here we go. Roll number 19 for Papa Giorgio. Look at all the 2022s. Bicentennial, 73. You know, I think in all my years of hunting, I've only found three, 1973, I think it's the D, DDO. Three of them. I've never found the 77. Um, I've been looking for that for a very, very long time. So far, just not been lucky enough to do it. All right, Papa Giorgio, that's uh, roll number one down for you. Here's roll number 20 out of the box. This does not look like it's going to get better, folks. We are gaming. The night bot's not working for whatever reason. I don't know why. Um, my email is gasilverhunter at gmail.com. Your command is registering in the software as showing that you issued the command, but night bot's not responding for whatever reason. I don't know why. All right, Papa Giorgio. I know, night bot is late to the stream. It's making me angry. Good luck on the last one here. Nothing. 22, 22. We got an 80. March 71. Lots of bicentennials. Well, Papa Giorgio, I'm really sorry. Looks like we came up blank for you as well. But it's always fun just to win. So I assault fish. I'm going to Vegas at the end of April, and uh, I was there two years ago. We skipped last year. I'm on a boys trip, and uh, we go almost every year. We've gone, I think, 13 of the last 15 or 16 years. And uh, one year I got real low on cash, and I just went around from uh, cage to cage in the casinos buying five rolls of half dollars and going through them and then taking them back to a different cage, cashing them in for money and then going to the next casino. And the problem was that most of the casinos had all brand new rolls of, at the time I remember doing this, they were whatever, 2020s or 2019s or whatever they were. And uh, I wasn't gonna bring home, you know, that many NIFCs, I didn't, didn't have a need to. But I've done that when I was in Vegas. Just went through them. So Mr. Investor, if you win a giveaway, the way you claim it is you would email me with your uh, actual mailing address and uh, what you won, just as a reminder, obviously I have it in the stream, but it's still helpful if you put it in the email. And then, uh, I, email, email, then I mail stuff out to you. Now, usually my giveaway wins, and folks that won last week, if you're in the chat, I did ship all my all that stuff out. There are the, the couple of things we gave away that people won, but I put them in standard envelopes and I didn't get them out until like Tuesday or Wednesday. 
So they may not have arrived yet, but giveaways for low value items, like if you get an NIFC, I'm not gonna send that stuff insured because at the end of the day, it's worth 50 cents or not insured. I'm not gonna send it tracked because to do the you know minimum track shipping like in a bubble envelope is about 350 or $4. So I don't do that. Um, you know, if it was a couple of 90% silvers or something like that, then I would totally, like if you paid for a box, if I were selling rolls, yeah, I would totally, you know, pay for the upgraded shipping that included some insurance and I'd put it like in a padded envelope or a box. But, you know, when, when you win a busted NIFC, I'm not putting that in super high grade shipping. So far, I've only had one package that I'm aware of not get to its destination. And that was one that we tried to ship to Canada and I basically taped the entire envelope and we put standard shipping on it, which was still like a buck 90 or 250, 270, something like that. And uh, the person never got it. And we're talking months after. We got another 2020 Philly NIFC. Let me look at the chat here. Nightbot has disconnected from the chat. Does it say that or are you just, you're, you're telling me that? Timothy was in rural Alabama, picked up two boxes of halves, only ended up with a 1963 Benji and three 1964s. You said only. That's four 90% silvers. That's an amazing little hunt. That is a great hunt. I wish we had three in this box, that's for sure. I mean, all these things look like they came from the same person. Like these were dumped in a coin machine somewhere because they all have this big scratch through the head. It was really disappointing. These are the boxes I get really frustrated with and I get angry about, so. MB scored two 1970F. If those are 1970 Kennedys, that's a pretty big score. It's actually a really good score. So where did you get the 40% 90, 90, I'm sorry, the 40% 1970 halves? Where did you get those from? Were they like in change or from a till or did you buy them? Let's see here. Uh, that is very lucky. Did he say where? Sorry, I'm doing a couple of things. This box is a dud. Not lucky enough to find. I've only found one 1970, 40 percenter ever. Um, to put that in perspective for you guys, um, and I've been I've been going through halves pretty religiously for I think over four years now. So. That is, uh, that's tough, tough to find those in, in, uh, in circulation. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm just really frustrated with Nightbot, so I'm, I'm monkeying with it a little bit here in between. Can you show a magic coin? So Austin, were you in my stream the other night when I did that? Jerry, you got one a week ago. Did you find it in change or did you buy one? Because believe it or not, magic coins are expensive, man. So if you can find one in good shape, that's actually pretty good. You were not in the stream. So Austin, I'll show a magic coin here in just a second. 
I'm happy to show that off. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but I did magic for a long, long time. Um, and I have a ton of magic stuff. So I get really excited when I find these magic coins because I used to spend like $29.99 on them. And now when I find them for 50 cents, it makes me very happy. Yay, Night Hot Nightbot is back. We fixed it. We fixed it. By the way, that was rule number 26. All right, magic coins. That's Panamanian coins. Here's my little stash of magic coins. So far, right now, I think I've got six in them. I sold one on my website not too long ago. Um, my little store. So if you're unfamiliar with what a magic coin is, it is a hollowed out half dollar. It sounds funny. I'll drop it on something. Hopefully you could hear this. You hear that? That's very different than this. They are hollowed out. They weigh about one gram less than a regular half dollar. Um, and you can also see that if I take the coin and I flip it this way, a lot of times that eagle won't line up because it's actually two separate halves that get pressed together. And I 3D print these. Now, if you buy a magic coin, it comes with one of these. But uh, coin just fits in there like that. And if you bang it, sorry, this might be a little loud. There it goes. You will see that the two halves separate. We have a hollowed out coin that has a Mexican centavo. Now, some of the magic coins will actually have the British penny in it. Uh, m almost all the ones I have have the Mexican centavo. And uh, I'll do the trick again because most people like to see what the trick is. And the way the trick works is you come up to someone and you say, I have a copper coin that's kind of smaller than this silver uh, half dollar. So that's how you can tell them apart. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand you these two coins and you put them in the person's hand and you tell them to close it. And then you ask them to put their, their hands behind their back and separate the two coins. Now you want them to do this behind their back so they don't see the two coins uh, while they're separating them. And they you tell them put the large silver coin in one hand and the small copper coin in the other which I'll try to do here without you guys seeing it. And then you bet them, you know, a dollar that they can't open the hand with the small copper coin. The average person can tell where the smaller coin is, so they open that hand and they find that they have an American quarter, right? And the other hand, they have a half dollar. And it all looks clean when you walk away. But if you know what this sounds like, it's hollow and it's wrong and it's off, but it's actually a very, very cool and effective trick and you're completely clean afterwards. There's nothing that you have to do. You just collect these two things and move on to your next trick or walk away, which is pretty neat. So Austin, that is a magic coin. Now MB's done some magic because he said it's a great effect and that's not something an average person says, but it is a great effect. I actually figured out what was wrong with Nightbot. So that's, I fixed it. What you need, buddy? What? Can you have time? No, I can't get to my phone. What do you mean? I'm live streaming. Sorry, my son's down here, and he's he's very upset because his computer is about to turn off with it his time. It turned off. Well, I'm very sorry. It's Saturday, so I think that you could access your phone real quick. I can't because I'm in the middle of a live stream. You're interrupting these wonderful people who are trying to watch me they hunt coins. They agree with me. I already know. Hang on a second. They're calling you a bum right now. They're, They're not like, calling me a bum. They're calling you a bum. They're, They're probably... Like this, this fool shutting off his son's computer at 10.15 on a weekend is crazy. They're probably going to say, you're an awesome father for controlling no, your that's... son's access to his screens. Well, uh, they're on for that then. All right. Give me a second, buddy. Sorry, everybody. Oh, geez. What is it, my password there the things I do for my son on a Saturday night let him play his video games There we go.
Okay, so hopefully he's good now and can play his video games. And we can get on with the show. <laughs> LOL, don't ever change. I won't let my son see that. Uh, so Taz, it's a good question. My, so my son's 15, Cuban guy. I have a, a younger daughter. Uh, my daughter's 12. My son's 15. And when I first started four and a half years ago, um, he uh, both of them used to help. Not really on camera, but they before I started doing my YouTube channel, they loved to help. But they were much, much younger. And uh, now they're older and they just care what I find. So they will, you know, after a stream or after I get done filming, they'll be like, what'd you find? And I'll show them and they'll think it's cool and that's it. Um, so Jackie, if you found 29, 40% half dollars in 11 rolls, that's amazing. Were they bank wrapped or customer wrapped? Papa Georgie, I would have said talk to mom, but she doesn't have access to the thing to, uh, to allow anyone to give him his screens. That's, that's something I keep under my control. Oh, we're gaming. I'm sorry. It's your 199th time asking. I've been, I'm, I'm, I've been a little busy here, buddy. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll give away some, some stuff right now. How's that sound? 14 eligible. I'll give you guys two minutes. Say something, not even, I'll give you one minute. Say something in the chat. I'll give away the next three rolls. Hey, uh, is it Brigden Clark? Thanks for being a new subscriber. I think my camera got moved around a little bit there when my son wanted me to wanted me to fix his games. There we go. So we got 24 eligible. All you guys have to do is just say something in the chat. And then we will roll it on Nightbot, which this time we're going to see if Nightbot actually announces the winner. I'm not going to share. I'm not going to show the screen. You guys pay attention to the chat. We got 25 in there. There's no special keywords. All you got to do is chat something and you will be entered to win. As I said before, if you're new into the chat, you're going to win the next three rolls out of this box. Any silver, any errors we find, you get to keep. NIFCs, if it's not a crazy amount, and remember 21, 2, and 3 are not NIFCs, I will ship you those as well. Uh, Dig and Dave and I go back and forth all the time. I'm in his stream quite frequently. He might even be streaming tonight. He's been streaming almost every night this week. Um, so it's been kind of crazy. All right. Nate, you want to be a moderator? I could probably make you a moderator at some point. Here, let me see. if Can I do it through, the, through here? I think I might be able to. Don't everybody ask. Nate was the first one to ask, so I'm going to do it for him, but nobody else. If it'll work. Add as a moderator. Standard moderator. Save. Look at that. Congratulations, Nate. You're now a moderator. Nobody else. I said nobody else. Ask me next time. There we go. All right. And we're going to pick somebody in three, two, one. Roll it. We have Quirky Quick Quip. And it even announced it. Nightbot, you're doing such a great job. Quirky Quick Quip has won the giveaway. So with that, actually, I think I lied earlier. I was roll 25. This is roll 26, 27, 28 is what you're getting. All right, Quirky Quick Quip, good luck. Hopefully we find some silver for you, but based on what we've seen so far, do not hold your breath. I see at least seven 2022s in here. There's three of them that just fell out. A couple of bicentennials. Even if this was a DDO, you wouldn't want it because it's so beat up. I'd still ship it to you, but it'd be fairly worthless. 72 with an FG, 72D with an FG. Here's a 72P, not the DDO. That's one roll for you, quirky, is it how, quirky quick quip. Have you ever found a barber half? Yes, I have, Brigden. I have found, I think, two. I've done shorts on it. It was in a video last year. And uh, if you go to my channel and look at my epic silver finds, it's in there. Uh, if you want to find the video faster, if you look through my shorts, um, I can't remember if I mentioned it's a barber in the title, 
But uh, most of my shorts that have really cool finds in them link to the full video. I don't remember which one it was, but I know it was a it was a crazy big box of silver, and I can't remember what year it was. Sorry, it's an 83. We're looking for the FG. Um, but it was an awesome box that had a bunch of stuff in it, and it also produced a barber. I have found barber quarters. I have found seated liberty quarters. Um, quirky quick quip, last roll. Can I show it? Uh, not easily, no. Um, what's the least expensive, reasonably good coin scope someone can buy? A salt fish asks. So also coming up, uh, Nightbot should be showing some links here to my store, which have my affiliate links. And it shows all the equipment I have. And I think I've still got it in that list. I don't use it anymore. I use a super high dollar scope that I got for free for reviewing it. But the Amazon digital pluggable scope, if you have a computer, is I think the cheapest way to get a pretty darn good microscope. Um, and I want to say it's like $39.99 or something like that. The one I have now is by OPQPQ, and it's a 10 and a half inch. It's got an LCD built into it. You can connect it to a computer. I'm actually using it right now. Very feature rich, but it's like $250, but it's really, really nice. Um, they do make ones just like the one I have with smaller screens. But I would just look for microscopes on Amazon and look for the cheapest one, but that digital pluggable one is uh, the one I started with and I used it for almost three years before I got the one that I use today. Um, and again, I got it simply for free because I have a YouTube channel about this and uh, I reviewed it a long time ago and that was part of the deal for me doing the review. Was I got to keep the scope. So you guys keep chatting. We're gonna give away three more rolls here. I'm gonna do two more just for me and then we'll do three for a lucky viewer. How's that sound? Um, Seated Liberty was cool. Uh, you can get a loop. Yep, that's that, that's really hard though. I can tell you if you're coin roll hunting using a loop, it's tough. Here we go, boys. Good luck to everybody. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Something in the chat. 53 people in the chat. You guys keep up the good work here. All right, I'm gonna do one more and then we'll pick somebody. And if you guys want, if you give me a second, I'll look for the barber that I found. And I've got the quarter, I had the quarter, sitting on my desk here just the other day. I might've moved it. It looks like I moved it. Hang on. This I have out. The barber is gonna take me a while to get, or the other bar. This is a, a barber that I found in a customer wrap the other day. It's all chewed up and beat up, but it is a barber quarter, and I'll take it. So that was pretty neat. You keep track of all your finds. So MB, yes, I keep track of them because they're all on YouTube. I do very, very little hunting offline. Um, even stuff that I maybe don't make a video about, I usually post on my community page. Um, just like the two 1964s that I talked about at the beginning of the stream that had the double die obverse on it, which I also did a short on, um, went on YouTube. So I have a log that I, I keep, but I usually... I usually wait till later in the year and then I'll sit down and go back and kind of rewatch my videos quickly just to see what I found and then I update the log. This is a 1983P. I got asked earlier about how faint can the FG be for FG be for it to count. And I struggle with this because just looking at it, hopefully you guys can see that, there doesn't appear to be an FG but I kind of still see the G. Like I can see the ghost of an FG there. So any other coin roll hunters in the crowd would love to hear your call on this. This is something I would hang on to, put it in a flip and call it a no FG with a question mark on it. 
This isn't something I would sell until I took it somewhere like another coin shop and got another professional to look at it and validate with me if this would qualify. It's not in the, the best of shape either, I'll be honest. It's not in horrible shape, but it's not, not great. It's been well, well circulated. So let's see here. No FG. So Weird Gaming thinks it's no FG. Just so we can have something, let's say it's a no FG. All right. For the sake of the stream, we're going to call it a no FG. And I'm going to put it on the board as a, what are we going to call it here? 9040 proof. I'm going to call this error. We're going to add another thing in the scroll. Really? Come on. Hit the shift button. One. All right. There's now an error of one, and we've got two NIFCs. So now the board's all caught up. So let's see here. I have a question mark on flips too. I, yeah, it's funny, JR. I do it all the time. Like I'll find something and go, I'm pretty sure this is what I think it is. And then I'll, I'll, uh, I'll put a question mark on it. And then that's stuff I don't sell. Because like I said, if I can't validate it, I'm not going to take somebody's money for it. Yep. Thanks, Weird Gaming. My coin shop guy would put that 50 cent in a sock and hit me with it. That's funny, Kenny. That's why I say I'm not sure, but we'll call it a no FG for fun. It looks like a no FG to me. Thank you for the uh, vote of confidence. But anyway, let's keep on going. And that's one that, honestly, if one of you guys sent me a picture of it and I thought I could see the FG in it, I would tell you guys it wasn't. And that's why I said, I'm going to put it to the crowd because it just... I don't know if that'll focus. It's almost easier to see with the naked eye. You can kind of see the ghost of the G on there. I don't know if I can get it close enough and get it to focus for you, though. But anyway, just for you guys for the stream, we'll call it a no FG. All right, here we go. I'm going to give this away. We got 23 eligible users in the chat. You guys need two. Chat, 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 because there's a lot more of you guys watching than 23. I got 48 in the chat, so let's see if we can get that to maybe 25 or 28. And we're going to pick a winner. Three rolls. It'll be rolls uh, 31, 2, and 3. We got 24 eligible. Papa George, you had bacon this morning. It was wonderful. All right, well, I'm just going to roll it. We're at 25. Doesn't look like we're getting many others. So here we go in three, two, one. Faz That Coyote, channel member, winner. Three rolls. Congratulations, Faz. I think I did call you the, the clown earlier, so I'm sorry about that. Or maybe you chatted clown, but it was, I, I now get it. All right, here we go. Three rolls. Here is roll number one for Faz. And then I said I would get that barber. We'll do that in a minute too, but I want to get through this box. So is this where I finally get the busted proof? Maybe. We got it. We got a busted proof last week. It's still, I don't, I still don't think it's been delivered, but we found one. 72. That's a no. Seventy-one is a no. So Brigden, um, you're saying it's hard for you to get quarters. Are you trying to get bank wrapped or just quarters in general? Because most banks are flush with quarters. I have no issue getting quarters. Now sometimes I can't get bank wrapped quarters, but uh, I can always get customer wrapped quarters. There's a, almost all the banks around me service car washes and stuff. And I'll go in and they'll have $6,000 worth of customer wrap quarters. Mm. 
Nate, what are you saying isn't rigged? Sorry, I missed something. Oh, it's not rigged, JR. <laughs> Does JR say this thing is rigged? Yeah, there, uh, there's no proof that this isn't rigged, but I can tell you that uh, there is no funny business on my channel at all in any way, shape, or form. You guys see what I find. I don't, I don't cheat anything. And the giveaways, I use Nightbot, and Nightbot is a mystery to me. I couldn't get it to work earlier, so... Um, I did think it was really weird last week. Uh, Nettie Susan, who I know well from Hunting Southwest Ohio's channel, and she wins stuff all the time, and she just subscribed to me during that stream. And I said, all right, everybody, give, give Nettie a second so she can join. Because on my last stream, you had to be a subscriber for at least a minute before you could chat. And so I gave her a minute, she chatted, and uh, I rolled it, and she won the uh, she won the giveaway. She'd literally been a, a subscriber for like 90 seconds and won the giveaway, which is really, really weird. All right, Papa Giorgio, this is your last roll, and I'm not seeing anything for you. You ever go to a car wash or laundromat place to get quarters? Always wonder if there are some fines in those. So I get I get car wash and laundromat quarters from the bank. I said probably the clown again. Faz that coyote, sorry. Um, yeah, I get them from the bank uh, all the time, like I said, because they drop them off. I think I have clowns stuck in my head. I'm just going to call you Faz from now on. That's got an FG on it. All right, the 73 is your last chance. No DDO. And for those of you that wonder, you know, why, what I look for, um, right in the, the, the crook of the, the middle of the three is usually a little double notch. And then you want to look for doubling in the top serifs of the U and the bottom of the R. That's the easiest place to see if you've got a double diabolus on that 73. So, happy early St. Patrick's Day to you as well. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. It was completely the wrong person. So, Faz, that was for you. I, you know it was for you. I think I said Papa Giorgio or something. I'm over here just running my mouth. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, Timothy's opening a half-dollar car wash. That'd be funny. Can you show the barber? All right, give me, give me 30 seconds to see if I can find this barber. Actually, I know, I think I know where it is. Ugh. It's going to be in here. I recently redid one of my books, and I'm pretty sure I added it to my half dollar section. At least I think I did. There's all my walking liberties, early pennies, quarters. Well, oh, here it is. Well, now, I think... Well, I can't remember which one of these two it is that I found on the stream, so I'm going to show you both of them because I didn't write CRH on it. But it was one of these two, if I remember right. I think it was this one. So it was a 1914S that I found in a roll of half dollars from the bank. Well, not a customer wrap roll. This was a this was a bank wrap roll. I'm pretty sure it was that one. And then I, for some reason, I'm thinking this might have been the other one I found. This is a 1907. I think it's a D. Yeah, it is. I want to say I found this one in a coin roll hunt as well. Those are the two barbers that I I. I know the 1914 one, the 1907 might be the other one. So let me go back here. You want down to, a, you know, I've I, I've lived in Georgia for like 30 years. I've never been to the Masters. Never ever.
So you snagged a 53D RPM for five bucks. That's amazing. That's a great find. You want a 1904S Barber? I think we all might want one of those. Dude, going through Wheat Sense is fun. Not Bass Masters. The Masters. Golf. I've been invited many, many times. I've just never gone. Okay, guys. Uh, let's get back in the chat. Make sure you guys are chatting. I'm going to give away three rolls. I'm going to do two for me here. And then we will... Uh, We'll give three more away. What I think is funny is, like, I'll do three and then say do two for me and we find something, which I think is pretty funny. So far, it's not been anything good, but... It has happened. Where's the silver, he says. I know. Where is the silver? 2009 Puerto Rico State Quarter. I can't find lots of those. I get a lot of those in my quarter hunts. I have finished uh, two sets of quarter books from 65 to 2023, except for the uh, Jovita Edar Denver, I think is the only coin I have left in both sets of books. Now, both sets do have some stuff that needs upgrades, but they are complete. So Ryan, uh, if both of these skunk, these will be boxes five and six for me. Uh, my last four, I did two. Let's see, I did two on my own. We did two in a live stream last week. And uh, so far it's all been skunks. So. I do have a second box, guys, and I'm probably going to get into that tonight. I don't know if I'm going to finish it, though. We're going to we're gonna maybe get that out and get through. Oh, so I'm going to give these away. I'm probably going to get through maybe 10 or 15 of the rolls. If it looks like this box, we may end it early um, just because I don't want to waste your time and I don't want to waste mine. So I'll just rip through those offline. But uh, let's, give some, let's give some rolls away. Random man guy, I'm doing great. Um, I'm doing great. The rolls aren't doing great. Um, your 50 half box video was epic. Thank you, Ryan. That was a lot of fun. That was a super lucky hit and it's been all downhill since. All right. Good luck guys. We got 19 who are eligible. Who've been chatting. I got to add mods in real quick. Nate, make sure you say something so that you get included. Yeah, you're there. You're good. So I'm going to hit roll it on this thing in just a second. We got 21 eligible giving away three rolls. This would be roll 41, is that right? No, roll 46, 7, and 8 we'd be giving away. Chit Chat Part 2. Where is the silver, Vicky says. She's absolutely right. Where is the silver? All right, here we go. We're going to hit roll it on this thing here in 3, 2, one, JR, you have won the giveaway. So we had, I think, MB who started us off. Now we got JR. Apparently we like two syllable or two letter names here. So JR, here comes your rolls. Nightbot announced it there. Hopefully you guys saw it. Yep, it's rigged. It's rigged. All right, here we go. JR, lots of 21s and 22s. Or probably 22s. Oh, was JR saying it was rigged earlier? Now he knows it's not. Now, if he was complaining, I call that the wine and win strategy. That the louder you complain, the more likely you are to win. So, that has worked for me in the past. It has never worked for me on Hunting Southwest Ohio's channel. He's a good friend of mine and uh i've been watching his streams most of the time now for over a year and i have never ever won a giveaway all right here's roll number two for jr it's not looking good lots of 22s in this one too 
94. Oh, there's a 2020. JR, do you need a 2020 Philadelphia? I can drop that in the mail for you if you need it. If you don't, I'd rather not spend the money on the postage, but I'm happy to put this NIFC if you need it. Let me know in the comments. It's our third 2020 on the box. But uh, let me know if it's something you need. Like I said, I'm happy to put that in an envelope for you. I can keep it. Thank you, sir. They're not that special. They, I come across them pretty frequently. All right, JR. Last roll here. Let's see here. Weech roll. Yep, they do. What am I doing these days with an IFC? So I have two full sets that I have in my store, or I might only have one listed, but I have completed two full sets. I have three sets of them made, one for me and one for each of my kids. So I've made those three sets plus the two I'm selling. And uh, other than that, uh, unless they're upgrades, I take them back to the bank. Um, and the other thing I do is I tend to put them all in the same roll. So if you're in the Metro Atlanta area, uh, there's always a chance if you pick up one of my returns, which by the way, they all have a line on them that look like that. Um, then if you get a roll full of half of NIFCs or a whole roll of NIFCs, it's because they came from me. I'm sorry, JR, no silver, just that 22, which you said, or the 2020, which you said you didn't want, which I appreciate because I hate sending 50 cents in the mail if you don't need it. So Vincent, you've won three times in seven months. That is three times more than me. Have I ever found a large scent in a roll, Georgia? I don't think so, Brigden. Um, I might have found like a, a, a British penny once or an Australian penny, something like that, in a half dollar uh, hunt. But that I may be, I may be misremembering that. Um, Ryan, am I still collecting Zombucks? Yes, I am. Um, I've got all of them so far, I think. I might not have gotten the last one. I might have missed out on it being super cheap too. Um, but yes, I am still, still getting them. I, I'm less excited about the Zombucks than, than I was when they first came out because they're, they didn't cap the mintage and they're not going up in value very quickly once they are pulling the mintage. So I'm hoping that once the set is done and complete and they stop selling them, that they will jump because uh, they just really haven't done much from a value perspective since they came out, but I will complete the set and I'm working on two full sets of those as well because I wanted to create a set for me and a set to sell. So you got a dateless coronet, James? Coronet head penny? Where, where was it? You know, what was it stuffed in? Where'd you find it? Does my elbow hurt from stapling? I don't get the joke there, Kenny. I don't know what you mean. No, my elbow doesn't hurt. Now, the question I would have for you, Kenny, is do you have a flat stapler or a regular stapler? Uh, I do have large scents in my collection. I can show you guys those here in a minute, but yes, I do. I got a little bit of everything in my collection, guys. I, I'm not a completist for a lot of stuff, um, but I do have a little bit of everything. All right, you guys chat away, please. I'm going to give away three more rolls. It will be rolls 51, 2, and 3. We've got 24 eligible in the chat. Franklin, just subscribe. That was very loud. I'm sorry, everybody. Let me turn the volume down. That probably scared some people to death. We've got 29 eligible. Fifty-one concurrent. I'm surprised for this for this stream. I thought it would show up in the in the shorts thing. We haven't had tons of viewers. I would have figured we would have gotten a lot more viewers tonight. Well, we got a thousand views, which maybe that's fair. Anyway, something I was just gonna try. 
All right, here we go. We got 28 eligible, 29 eligible. Here we go. I'm going to roll it in three, two, one. MB, you won again. Now you can say it's rigged. MB has won again. Congratulations, sir. See, I told you guys, you know, now it's time to say it's rigged. The same person won twice. So here, I'll leave it to MB. Should I pick somebody else or do you want these three rolls? Shall we riot now? That's pretty funny. Yeah, MB, you won twice in a row. So I'm, I'm going to put it to you. Everybody's saying it's rigged. Do you want me to pick again or do you want the rolls? I'll leave it to you. It's your call. I mean, this is not a, a, a box that I'd be too afraid of giving the rolls away. Don't feel any pressure, sir. Don't, don't, don't feel pressured to do it. You are welcome to keep these rolls. You are absolutely welcome to keep them. I'm not trying to make you feel bad. All right. Everybody says keep them. Look at that. This is the best crowd ever. There you go. You take them, MB. That's what I would have done if you want to know the truth. I, I win so rarely. If I could win twice in the same stream, I'd take it. All right, here we go. I mean, if you want to call getting all these 2022s that you don't get, keep winning, but it is what it is. 2022. 2022. 2022. Uh, we are going to get into that second box, but I'm going to get my little my little collector book out here, and I'll, I'll pull a couple more coins if you guys want to see them. All right, that was roll 51. Here comes roll 52 for MB. Lucky winner of the night. Yeah, this, this would be great if this were the score of the night. This would be awesome if we had a big, big silver, big silver drop in one of these rolls. That'd be great. They're either scratched or they're ugly. This has just been a really strange box. So what's funny is my, I may have mentioned this in my last stream, my teller that I get most of my half dollars from, she's actually predicting now whether or not I'm gonna have silver, just based on how heavy the boxes are when she picks them up off the little trolley and hands them to me, which is pretty funny. She's been right the last couple of drops and she was right about the Epic box too. Uh, Brigden, I get almost nothing but new nickels these days. That's why if you if you watch a lot of my hunts lately on nickels, they're all customer wrap because at least then I'm typically guaranteed to get some uh, circulated ones. Uh, Ron, we so I went through this earlier, but I'll do it again. So 21, 22, 23 were not originally intended for circulation, and if you have Red Book for a, you know far enough back, they were listed as not not intended for circulation coins. But due to COVID and coin shortages and all that nonsense, the mint just dumped them into circulation. So while I think the 21 and 22 still relatively low mintage, people even today, myself included, are getting full boxes of 2021 Phillies and Denvers. Um, and that negates the value for any collector, right? When, when 20 million of them get dumped into circulation, they're no longer con considered not intended for circulation. So one, two, and three, I don't know a coin roll hunter or collector alive that considers them NIFCs. Um, and Red Book, actually the last two years, removed the 21 and 22 from that designation. Um, Austin would love a whole roll of coins. Do I have any two cent pieces? I think I do, actually. I think I do. Um, so, sorry, I'm over here chatting. So, uh, MB, this is your last roll. Sorry, guys, I got distracted by the chat. That's what I like to do. Look at that. That is, uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six non-2022s in that roll. Six. This is the kind of box that, you know, again, I'm not, I don't sell rolls too often. Um, not that there's anything wrong with it. I just don't do it very often. Uh, if somebody had bought this box, I would have given them their money back. Uh, because this is so bad with these 2022s. That's all 2022s. 
all 2022s. All right, we'll do these two for me. Um, Brigden says, we're so I get cherry pickers guide for coins. If the question is, where can you get the cherry pickers guide? Look on Amazon. Uh, I would recommend the digital edition if you can get it cheaper. Uh, and yeah, you guys go ahead and start chatting because I'm going to give away three rolls after these two. Um, so James Benson, uh, my recommendation is look on eBay. Uh, I do sell rolls from time to time. It's been a while since I've done it of uh, Bicentennial Quarters. They do come at a premium because there is an error on the D that a lot of people are still looking for, myself included. And people will spend 15 or $20 on a roll of Bicentennial Quarters. If they're uncirculated, they may even spend more. So uh, the one thing you need to do is go to salecalc.com and uh, run the numbers on it because you may find that you actually lose money selling it for only $15. Kenny Blacksmith says error where? So if you're talking about the error on the 1976 Denver Bicentennial Quarter, uh, it is a double die obverse. And it is uh, easily seen in the B, E, R, and T of Liberty above George's head. That's the easiest place to find it. Diggin' Dave was talking about it on his channel the other day. He's been coin roll hunting far longer than me. He's found three in his lifetime. And uh, the nicest one he ever found, he sold for $500. I think he said the other night there was one he sold for like two or 250. And then the other one was so beat up, I think he said he only got like 100 for it. Um, but it's it's actually a, a fairly rare error in the quarters. All right, gang. So uh, 50 Walking Liberty half dollars and four boxes of half dollars. Brigden, that's amazing. If you guys want to know the, the craziest Walking Liberty score I've ever seen in my life, it was Dad's... Oh, what's it called? Dad hunting coins or something like that. I'll have to look it up. I'll have to look it up. Hasn't posted a lot to YouTube. He comments on a lot of my videos. Probably a year or two ago, he got two boxes of Loomis um, boxes from, I think, a Wells Fargo. It had like 800 Walking Liberties between the two boxes. It was insane. It was, at the time, like eight or $9,000 worth of silver, um, which is just insane. Uh, so we only have 19 eligible... Uh, people in the chat and we have 65 watching well 50 watching now that it's updated so we got to have more than 19 people that are interested in winning a couple of rolls so you got to say just anything in the chat hi good luck words period whatever put something in the chat we're up to 20 i'll give you 30 more seconds hey fire rain fire rain how are you the coin hog says, good luck. We're up to 22 people. Papa Giorgio's still on the bacon. David Villa, we are hunting half dollars for silver or anything, and I'm giving away three rolls, and I'll, whatever I find in them that's, that's valuable, I'll give to a viewer. Um, so people are chatting, and we're going to draw a name, and whoever that name is is going to get three rolls. So somebody make, I can't read it. Make somebody just just uh, subscribe. Thank you much. Appreciate it. I just couldn't read the name. It was too far away on my screen. That's what we're doing here, though. All right, here we go. 28 users. I'm going to hit roll it in three, two. Hang on. Nate, you need to say something because I didn't have mods checked. Nate, if you're still here, say something. Is Nate still here? He may have dropped. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna roll it in three, two, one. Nope, MB, I can't let you win again. We're gonna roll another one. We're gonna roll another one, buddy. This is crazy. Three in a row is insane. We're gonna roll it again. I'm sorry. All right, Lee Haley. We're going to let somebody else win some rolls, MB. 
So Lee, congratulations. You're going to get these next three. Hope that's all right with you, MB, but it's just crazy. I've never seen this thing do that many in a row to the same person. All right, here we go. This is actually, I think I went one too far last time. So this is going to be rolls 4789. Thank you, MB. Appreciate the uh, you being understanding. So, Lee, uh, good luck. And let's hope we uh, break the, the skunk here. I'm not too hopeful about it, but uh, we won't know till we get these rolls open. How can I set up an account with Wells Fargo to order coins? So, Brigden... You need to check where you are because every branch I have found of a bank is different based on the bank manager, what policies they're deciding to follow, except, ex, et cetera. Um, so you might not need a business account to order coins. You may just be able to go in and ask them to order and they may just order for you. So there it is. Maker, a captain, subscribed a little bit ago. So... Congratulations if you're finding Merc Dimes. They're hard to find. And by the way, I was just holding this one because it's our first 2023 of the box. Not an NIFC, but still first one we've seen. 2001, we were one year away from an NIFC. 22, 22, 22, 22. What did I miss? Nate, you just missed us picking a winner for three rolls. And other than that, um, nothing else. I love Merc Dimes. I think they're beautiful. They're, they're actually a really, really cool dime. I do like them. I don't find many. Now, I did early last year, a year before, uh, one of my tellers said they had three funny looking dimes in their tray. And I asked to see it. And they, uh, I, of course, they let me buy them out of their tray. But I think it was a 19, 16, 17, and 18, or maybe it was a 19, 17, 18, and 19 um, Mercury Dime. They had all three of them in their tray. It was in a row. And uh, that was pretty cool to pick up, like, at lunchtime for 30 cents. This is our first 77 of the box. Not nuts. 77D. Yeah, you did miss that. Kenny's right. MB somehow won three times in a row. But we, we gave away his third win. You got 87 Merc Dimes in five boxes? That's insane. That is absolutely crazy. I haven't found a Merc Dime in forever. All right, Lee, good luck. This is your last roll, and roll number 50, I'll just do for me, and if there's a find in it, we'll give it away by doing another... We'll do another giveaway. Um, somebody just asked what a magic half dollar is. I already went through that on the stream. We even did the trick. Just so you guys can see, here's my box. I got one lonely roll left in it. Sixty-nine marks for three hundred and thirty dollars. Um, marks worth about two bucks. So I'm assuming they were in relatively good condition, and there were some rare dates and mint marks in there. We got one roll left. Like I said, I have another box. We'll get into a little bit of it. Um, if it looks like this box, we'll probably call it early. Um, just because it won't be that exciting. Yeah, so Kenny, if they're a buck eighty-three and melt, you can figure a coin shop's going to be selling them for about two bucks. Um, and if you're trying to off, you know, offload them on eBay or something like that, you're going to want to push them for about two bucks as well. So that's why I usually round up as I figure in any premiums you're going to see, um, you know, through like a local coin shop. But a buck eighty-three is probably accurate to melt value today. All right, nothing in there. Not a fun box. Okay, so in this one, we had three 2020s and a maybe no FG that if I had to vote would say it is an FG, but that was all we had in that box, so not too exciting. Um, so let's see here. It included the 21P17D. Okay, there you go. So that, that, may, be, that may be why it was uh, 
so much. How much can you sell a 90% half dollar each for melt? So I did a, it was in my short yesterday, a 90% half today is worth about $9.10 in melt. Premiums, they're easily going for about 10 bucks a pop, maybe even closer to 11. Um, so, you know, it just depends on what your options are for being able to buy and sell. Uh, Nightbot is throttling me. Okay, sorry. I don't remember what the settings were for that. Well, if the next box starts off immediately with silver, we'll still give some rolls away for sure. Um, but, you know, and we'll definitely go through the whole box if it starts off with silver. That's, uh, that's not going to be a problem at all. Okay, you guys were asking about some other stuff. So I can't fit this book well in the tiny amount of camera space I have doing this vertical format. But some cool stuff that I have in here we'll pull and show off. So 1877 trade dollar. Very, very cool. Let's see here. Mm. We've got a handful of random piece dollars and stuff like that. We've got a bunch of just regular half dollars in here. I found this. This is the nicest of my uh, Stone Mountain commemorative half dollars I have found coin roll hunting. This was the one I found last year. It's in fantastic shape. We're probably talking AU. High AU on that one. That one was pretty cool. I got a, a BU 93. This is the, uh, what do we call this, in the Columbian Exposition. This is in great shape. This is probably one of my all-time favorite coins, 1836, Cap Bust. Also in just fantastic shape. I think it's been cleaned. I got that as part of a collection, but uh, it's a beautiful coin. Get in there. Where's my little... Uh, I've got a couple of... And you might be able to see them up there. No, you really can't. i got a couple of those. i got an 1856 and 1877 seated half. Um, got Barber Dimes in here. I've got a 31 Cap Bus Dime. Some cool stuff. Um, I'm just going through for, you, you know, some folks asked some of the cool things I've got. This is pretty cool. It's a 1916. It's been cleaned, but it's gorgeous. Hey, Matt Polson, thanks for subscribing. 1916 Barber Dime. Like I said, been clean, but it's gorgeous. Condition-wise, I mean, details would probably be you. A-U-B-U details, but M-S details. Uh, we've got some seated dimes in here. Um, I've got a 1867 Trime that's copper, copper nickel. This thing's pretty cool. Unfortunately, it's not the silver one. Yeah, I found silver in my album. And then let's just jump ahead because I was asked about old pennies. We've got some Indian heads in here. All right, here we go. Large cents. And this one's going to be tough to see. It's not in great shape. 1824. Yeah, this one's a... Not in great shape, but that's an 1824 one cent piece. I think I've got this listed as good. Um, we want to talk something that's a lot nicer. And these aren't the only ones I have, but you know, these are the ones I'm just pulling out to show you. This one is a 1852. Details just gorgeous. So, and I have a two cent piece. I just don't remember where, where I put it because I thought it was in here. Maybe I still have it in here. I got a, here's a flying eagle. I don't know if you can see that. No, those are all. I am pretty sure I got a two cent piece. I might have it in my uh, little red box. My little red box 
that I have a flips and I'm not going to go. Oh, here's one. It's practically worn to the nub. 1865 over 65, two cent. So it's a triple date, two cent piece. And it's not going to show up well because it's so badly beat up. But there's the two cent. I did have it sitting here. But I'd have to take it out of the flip to give you a better picture of that. Maybe. Yeah. There's the date on it. It's not great looking, but anyway. There was the two cent piece you were asking about. So let me look at the chat. What I miss? Yeah, most of mine definitely have uh, environmental issues for sure. Hey, you're welcome, Matt. I, I enjoy doing this. I've been I've been on YouTube for about four years, so um, you're welcome to to come check out. I've got tons and tons of content out there. I hunt everything. I, I buy silver. Uh, I like to talk about buying gold, even though I've not bought very much of it. Um, but yeah, yeah, welcome to the channel, man. So this is my 1907. Sorry, I'm just putting this stuff away. So this is the, just so you guys know, this is the book and I've, I've started doing the two by two flips because I, I originally had everything in those red boxes and it was just painful to find stuff. So the nicer stuff I've put in, a, in this binder so I know where it is and it's easier for me to see and get to. So um, Austin, you know what? There you go. No one else. That was my last mod for the night. So Brigden, can you find them? I'm sure you can. It's just a matter of, are you going to be lucky enough to find one? Speaking of gold, I'm trying to save up to get my hands on a pre-33 coin. Can't figure out if I want a half or a quarter eagle. Hold that thought um, and let me grab this other box. So give me a second. And if I've missed any questions, don't be afraid to ask them again. I just didn't see them. Okay, Ugh. there's the other box. Hang on, need another minute. So, Faz, I think it was you. Sorry. I, you know, something I need to find is a really good music source for my streams. That's one thing I don't have. But anyway, um, you were talking about gold. So you'll notice that the one ounce or the $20 and $10 missing, and that's because I sold them. Um, these came in a collection that I bought, and it was cool because it had the full typeset, but, or the full set. But... Um, because gold shot up and the premiums on pre-33 is so high, I was able to sell these two coins and pay for about 80% of the collection that I bought. So it just was kind of a no-brainer for me. And I'll eventually backfill these. But here's the, uh, what do we have here? It's an 1887, 1878, and I don't remember what the other year is. And I think they're all San Francisco mint mark on them. But there's the 250, and hopefully that's focusing for you. And there is the dollar. That one is like five grams. That's a tenth ounce. That's a quarter ounce. So there you go. You were talking about these. These are really, really cool. I would love to get into more pre-33 gold, but the premiums on them are insane. Um, so could you place a dime or something with them to compare size? Sure. Yeah. It's not a pretty dime, but it's a dime. So to give you an idea, the little one, the little five gram piece, I mean, the this dime is like sticky. Hang on. Let me find a dime that's not sticky. There's 
There we go. So the $5 piece is just a little bit bigger than a dime. The 250 piece is about the exact same size as a dime. And then the five gram piece, or maybe it was 10 gram, I can't remember, is about, I don't know, two thirds of the size of a dime. Does that help? Nate, what's the oldest coin I have? I don't know. Um, some of those pennies are probably it. Um, that, that Drake bust half dollar I showed you is pretty old. My trade dollars in 1877. I've, I've not sat down and, and figured out like, what is my oldest coin? I just don't know. Um, these gold pieces, I, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head, but the premiums on them are through the roof. So if a quarter ounce of gold today, gold's at what? Almost 2,200, 2,150. Um, I mean, I'm just going to do, you know, back of the napkin math here. Let's say gold is at 2150. I don't know what it is. Somebody can tell me in the chat if they want. So a quarter ounce of gold at melt would be roughly $540, right? This piece right here, because it's a pre-33, if it were not cleaned, which I think it is, I mean, this could be a $750 or $800 coin. Um, and again, I'm, I'm making that up a little bit, but that's how much the premiums are on high grade pre 33. This one I, I'm guessing would run at least 650, maybe 700, even cleaned. Um, that's a guess, but that, that, that's what you're talking about just in this one little coin. So Yeah, the gold is really hot. If you got pre-33 stuff, MS-63 or higher, it's like having Morgans that are MS-64 and higher. They just, they're they are through the roof. Yeah, I, I'm usually pretty close on prices. I may not be exact because, you know, like a lot, there's other YouTubers that their whole life is gold and silver. And this is my hobby. So, you know, when I read up on it, I'll know exactly what it is for a few weeks and then I forget and lose track of it. And But I'm usually pretty close. Yep. So anyway, sorry. I'm, I, I mean, I love talking about this stuff. So, you know, for those of you that want me to shut up and get to the rolls, I apologize, but I, I love looking at this stuff. Um, let's see here. Oh, that's too bad, Faz. All right. So I'm going to get into this next box. Let's open a couple of rolls and see what it looks like. And like I said, if it looks bad, maybe we'll just hunt the top half of the box and call it a night. Um, how are we doing on folks in the chat? Let me, or folks in the stream, we've got 43, which again, I'm just shocked there's not more. But it is what it is. Old gold rules. That is true. All right. Well, there's no, well, there's one. 2021. So that roll already looks better than nearly every roll in that other box. I've got to do my taxes tomorrow. I, uh, I've been putting it off and putting it off and I just decided tomorrow is the day. So I'm not looking forward to it. I hate giving money away, but I'm sure I'm going to have to pay Uncle Sam this year. And I don't want to. Oh, I'm definitely not getting a refund. I won $10,000 in the lottery last year. There's, there's no way I'm getting a refund. I'm going to end up owing... All right, roll number two. All right, this is already looking a little better. I like it. James, I would love to owe, owe Uncle Sam just 80 bucks. That'd be, I'd be all right with that. I'm half kidding, but I'll probably owe Uncle Sam like 8,000 bucks or something stupid. Did I stuff a box this time? That's funny. 
Yeah, this is the box I stuffed. Yeah, I'm not giving any rolls away, and we're going to find 900 silvers in this box. You're right. That's my problem with the shorts, where people want to say that you're cheating, right? It's that they get you to see you open one roll, thinking that was the only roll you ever opened, you know? They don't realize that the, the time and the effort and, and the possibly hundreds of boxes you went to before you got to that one. Now, we might have a proof. Maybe. We'll see when we get to it. Would the IRS hunt me down? Yeah, they might. They actually did hunt me down. Um, there was an error in my tax. They thought there was an error in my taxes from four years ago. And we just got it cleared up last week. And they did. You know, I don't make millions of dollars, but they're coming after me. But rich people that make billions of dollars, they cheat on their taxes and stuff and they never get busted. But they'd come get me. Do I have any dime rolls, GA? Do you mean like circulated dime rolls or rolls of silver dimes? Yeah, it could be. Let's see. Let's get to it. See if you guys guessed right. There's a 72 with an FG. Another 72, like a toned 72. That would be cool if it were a DDO, but it's not. There's a 78. 78 Denver. It's a gorgeous 78 Denver. That was popped out of a mint set if I had to guess. Look at that edge. And look at the coin. That's just a beautiful coin for being in circulation. I mean, I'll put it aside. It's the kind of thing that I typically don't hang on to. But it is the, the type of coin that I will check like against my books. And if it's nicer than what I have in my books, yeah, I'll, I'll pop out what I have in there. But... Uh, I've gone through enough half dollars out that most of the coins in my books are really, really nice. So that's the second, pretty much, pretty much the second unique find on this hunt. All right, we're getting back into the 22s. So I'm going to do one more roll. Oh, we got a proof, guys. I see it. You guys see it? We got a proof. 1971, San Francisco. I mean, it's circulated, so the, 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 the fields are, are ruined from, from the gouges. But for a circulated proof, it's actually really, really nice. So that is pretty neat. We'll give this away tonight. I, I don't need to hang on to this. So we'll, we'll put this as maybe an end of stream giveaway, whether we finish the box or not. I don't mind giving this away. This is pretty cool. All right. I'm going to update my little ticker here if I have a proof spot. I think I do. I do have a proof spot. We got one of those. We got three NIFCs. I'm going to take that error off because I don't think that's a no FG. I'm going to take that off. Now that we found a proof. <laughs> Congrats to MB on his new proof. That's funny. Oh, too funny. All right. Let's get through this roll. I'm going to do one more. And then we will give away rolls. But that, like I said, that proof will give away no matter what. We'll give that away no matter what. Uh, so JR, I, I have done the same, um, at one point. Now I did end up selling a bunch of the, uh, I like to call them impaired proofs. There's a 2017 D NIFC. It's our second proper NIFC other than 2020 of the hunt. And it's actually in pretty darn good shape. So now we're finding stuff at least. We're finding stuff. So I don't have any dimes uh, to hunt. I do have rolls of, like I actually have a roll of silver dimes right here. That's why I was asking. If you just want to see some silver dimes, I have some. But I don't have any rolls to hunt. 
Um, what was I saying about proofs? Yeah, somebody ended up, uh, it wasn't somebody, it was uh, Shakarin. He wanted some, he was toying with how you could restore them or, 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 you know, plate them or what have you. He had some experiments he wanted to run on damaged proofs. And I sold him, I don't know, a couple of rolls of them. But at one point, I probably had like 12 or 15 rolls of, of uh, CRH proofs. So, yeah, it is nice to find that proof dump. So, Lee, yeah, if you're going on eBay and, and searching, looking for like unsearched rolls on eBay, they've all been searched. All right, Nate, what movie are you going to watch? Um, the 76, it's, uh, I mean, your question about the, the bicentennial quarter roll. I mean, if it's a full roll of bank wrapped and you know, it's a full roll of bank wrapped, I would leave it sealed. But if you don't know it's a full roll, then you'd have to open it to verify you have what you think you have, um, before you sell it. Cause if it just had bicentennial enders and it got to your buyer, they're going to chew you up and spit you out if it's not what you say it is. Look at the R on that 72. It's not an error, but it's been like smeared. It's not a DDO or anything like that. Just weird looking. Seventy-six. Yeah, maybe I just started this on the wrong box, everybody. Seventy-seven, eighty-nine, twenty, twenty-one. All right. We have 11 eligible. Actually, let me refresh. You guys start chatting away. I just refreshed my giveaway screen. I have Austin in there. He's the only one. So if you haven't chatted in a while, make sure you chat right now. I'll give you guys about a minute. And then we will roll for a winner. And again, we'll give away three rolls. We'll give away the next three rolls. And uh, if it's MB, he gets five. I'm just kidding. It's, it's going to be for, for three. And it is a new box, so MB, you're back in it. I, I will let you win again if, if, if it hits. Yeah, that's right. If MB gets it again, he gets the whole box because, you know, nobody should win three times in a row. That's insane. Tell you guys, the one downside of using your phone to do your live stream. Hey, Steve, thanks for subscribing. Um, let me see if I can get this work. The problem with using your phone to stream with, it's like you want to be able to use your phone and you can't because you're streaming with it. So I was like, I should log into PayPal just in case, like, I think this is the first time I've actually had the, you know, if you want to donate, do it to PayPal. I would have no idea if anybody donated because I can't get to PayPal and I can't see my phone. Very good. Thank you. Lick the screen. Tell me what it tastes like. All right, 25 eligible people. We're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to roll it. So if you haven't chatted, you'd like... 10 more seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. JR has now won twice on the night. So look at JR already congratulating MB and JR was the winner. <laughs> JR's like rigged. He won and he's calling rigged. That's really funny. That is too funny. Everyone is not rigged. It is it is literally Nightbot. I've never seen Nightbot pick this many people 
in the same session before. We saw it on Hunting Southwest Ohio the other day too. I think somebody else got picked like three times in a row, which is just insane. All right, roll number one for JR, not looking too promising. MB's gonna win four times. Four eighty nine. That's an okay looking seventy one. Twenty one. Eighty two. Philly with an FG. That just looks funky, but it's not. That's not going to be the DDO on that. 72. No DDO. I don't think it's going to pick the people that have already won. I, I do think part of it is we've got such a small crowd in the, in the chat that some folks are just getting really lucky. I mean, most of these rolls tonight that we've done, it's only been... 21 to 27 people, even though there's like, I mean, every time I look, it says there's like, you know, 40 to 60 in the ch in the watch in the stream. So I just think maybe it's just small group. Yeah, I, I'll be honest with you guys. I think it's really weird. So the DDOs, they vary. And of course it, it, it depends on the, the quality of the coin. Um, they could be as low as, you know, I'd say 10, $15. You find a 72D, uh, no FG, an MS64 there. I want to say they're like 253, $350. dollars they're, they're, they're pretty pretty high dollar errors. Um, the most I think I've ever sold a DDO for that was in pretty circulated condition was $50. I sold it on eBay. Long time ago. The 2001 Denver. I have a, you have a 1909 S. Oh, 10 media. Okay, I was going to say, you're asking me. I just going to say, I don't remember having that. 86, 83. All right, last one for JR. <laughs> Nightbot is kind of a creep. That's funny. Well, first we couldn't get him to join. Now he's joined and he's being a jerk. I do not have a 1909 VDB. Um, I want one. The 1909S VDB, I, I want one. I don't have a 1909 period wheat penny. Most of my wheat pennies are, I think my oldest one's a 1910 or a 1911. My uh, my mom, before she died, gave me a coffee tin full of wheat pennies. And uh, they have, that gift she gave me was the oldest wheat pennies I have in my collection. Thanks, Lee. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't, you know, four and a half years ago, I, I might have known a couple. But, you know, one of the things I tried to do with my channel, again, for any of you that are new, um, I want to make most of my videos about educating people, right? So, I mean, it's about the, the hunt and the, and the finds, but I also want to educate people. So when I find cool stuff, you know, we'll go in and look at Variety Vista and I'll explain why it is what it is. And a lot of times I'll even dig in and show what it's worth. And I mean, for me, learning this was the fun part, right? And so if, if I'm not teaching people in my, my full length videos, I feel like I'm missing the mark. And I think just silver hunting does get old because you can rip through a box of halves in 15 minutes if all you're doing is looking for silver. And there's so much value to be found in varieties if you can come across them. Now, there's the argument that says you're going to waste more time between your varieties than you know, you'll know you ever earn back. And there, that's probably true. But it keeps the hunts fun. It keeps them interesting. And you know what? One of these days when I do find something really valuable, it'll be really exciting. So, 
see my name a lot. Let's see here. I will have to watch on my TV until the stink bug leaves so I won't chat for a bit. All right, I've got a handful of 1909S and like four 09 VDBs, but no S. No, that's cool. Very cool. Yeah, and, and uh, if you're a new coin roll hunter, um, I do have a playlist that's like called So You Want to Be a Coin Roll Hunter or something like that. And uh, it's full of videos about how to get boxes and, you know, what a DDO is and all that kind of how to identify DDOs. And I mean, I made those three years ago, but they're out there. All right. So, JR, your rolls were done two rolls ago. Um, so I apologize for that, but uh, we didn't find anything for you. I'm going to do one more roll and we're going to pick another person. Um, so JR, yeah, for me, my checklist, which has been popping up in the chat a lot, I use, but again, once you do it enough, like I forget pennies all the time. I have to, I have a printout of my own checklist. Um, and I use, where's the book? I got it up here. I keep this handy all the time because this is a great book and I do have the, uh, cherry pickers guide on Kindle. So I keep that up while I'm hunting as well. Um, but once you get the core 70, 80% of it, yeah, you're not looking it up very often. You're, you're literally just doing it from memory. So, um, do I have a favorite mint? Hang on one second. Lee, were you asking, do I want to join your coin club? Uh, tell me more about it. Um, Faz, do I have a favorite mint? So, I mean, sorta, I mean, I would say, you know, in Morgan's, it's Carson City just because they're rare. I think that, you know, for most other coinage, it's the it's San Francisco because that's usually where your business strikes or your proofs are. And for me, the for quarters, obviously, the W is always very, very exciting. But between Philly and Denver, the only reason I lean towards Philly is because their quality control is absolute crap which means they produce errors all the time, which means I have something to look for. Um, so I don't know if that answers your question, but that's the way I look at it. Yeah, so Kenny just said it, right? Um, P equals error. All right, so I have 10 people eligible in the chat. This is what I was talking about a little bit ago. Um, I've only got 10 folks that could potentially win, which means MB is probably going to win again because there's only 10 of you in there. 50 people viewing. All right, we're up to 16, 18 eligible. We got mods who are checked in. 21 folks. So Faz, Denver, Denver minted quarters, like a lot of the Denver minted stuff from a quality perspective, from a, a, a proof like finish perspective, heads and shoulders above Philly for sure. Austin's already calling rigged, which I love. We haven't even picked anybody yet. All right, 24 eligible. We're going to go ahead and pick here. Hang on here. Somebody just said old bell. Well, there, that list does go on. There's 24 eligible. All right, here we go. And three, two, one. Richie Rich. We got a new winner. Richie Rich, congratulations. You're going to win the next three rolls. Rolls 11, 12, 13. So congratulations to you, sir. Assuming Richie Rich is a sir. Let's go ahead and open some rolls. All right, we got a handful of new things in here. 2021. So for a long time, we were talking about errors. If you see that little tiny notch right there at the base of the eye, I thought that was a double die. And honestly, if that's what you look for, that little notch is on like 75% of the 1971s that, 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 that I look for. 
The key to the double die obverse on, in the word in is that you actually have the eye, the, the serifs doubled on both sides and you have it doubled up here at the top. And typically you also need some notching in the end. So if you ever look at that little tiny notch at the bottom of the eye and get excited there, you got to find more markers than just that, that one little step for it to be a double die obverse. And then of course your best friend, if you're trying to learn about double dies or you need pictures, uh, varietyvista.com is a great resource and doubleddie.com is another great resource. For those of you looking for some resources, that's where I would start. And they're free. You don't need to buy anything. Well, Richie Rich, congratulations for being first time here and winning. Now, you're not winning much unless we find some stuff in these rolls. We got one contender here, this kind of orangey looking guy right here. He's not going to be a 2021 or two. I'm not saying it's going to be anything else. I don't know what it's going to be. Oh, I might have ruined the surprise if there is one. Let's go through it the way I was going through the rest. 2023 Philly. Nothing there. Not an NIFC. 21. Austin's watching on the phone and the TV. I've actually been watching on my phone and my computer, and it was mainly because I, I just I kept having to leave the room. So I've had people's streams up on both devices. All right, we have a 2013 Denver NIFC. Not a lot of value there, but it is a not intended for circulation coin. So Richie Rich, if you're interested in, in collecting this, it's again, not, not a very valuable coin, 50 cents to a dollar, um, but it is a not intended for circulation. So if you want it, let me know and I can put that in an envelope and get it out to you. Um, and then you'll need to claim it if you do want it. You'll have to shoot me an email with your mailing address so I know where to send it. So I've got one more roll for you. Richie Rich, hopefully we find something else. Richie Rich, 2021, 23. All right, so Richie Rich, I just need to know from you if you want me to send you that 2013 Denver NIFC. All right, these are for me, the next two. And there is nothing in that one for sure. My thoughts on the W Mint Dime. It is the 1996 W, it's the West Point Dime. I don't have a lot of thoughts on it other than I have never found one. I would love to find one. I know they go for a pretty good premium if you can get it in decent, circul or decent uh, condition, but I don't have one. So outside of that, I don't have a whole lot of comment on it. JR, I love hunting nickels if I can find a nice circulated box. And my problem lately is even when I get a box and they look circulated, only about a third of the box has old circulated coins in it. The rest is all new, like 2012 to, to 2023. Uh, I find a silver nickel in every probably two or three boxes. Now my last hunt, my, my mixed coin roll hunt, if you didn't watch it, I did find a 43 Philly war nickel. So silver war nickel. 
Drew Juarez. That's cool. I actually, uh, again, a couple, two, three, four hunts ago, I found my very first ever um, V-nickel. And I actually found two V-nickels in the same hunt, which was crazy considering, again, I've been doing this for four years. Now, I have V-nickels. I own some. I just had never found one. And uh, I had a box that it was one of the nickels was worn so clean you couldn't get a date off of it. And uh, the other one was, uh, I might even still have it around here somewhere. No, I put it away. Uh, the other one was a, was a common date one, but in, in okay condition for being circulated. And uh, it was pretty cool to find two in the same hunt after having never found one before. So I carry a, a 1946 Walking Liberty in my pocket. Now, I don't have it today, but like when I go to work, when I'm actually out and about, um, I think I was supposed to give away this roll, but I'm going to go ahead and open it uh, since I've started. Uh, I carry a 1946 Walking Liberty half dollar that has been cleaned and it's super shiny from being in my pocket and being handled all the time. It's basically a pocket coin at this at this stage. There's no... Not any real value in it. I, uh, I scratch lottery tickets with it. I flip it around. I do magic tricks with it. Um, but it's kind of a neat talking piece, too, when people, you know, if they find out that I like coins or coin collect or have a YouTube channel, it's, it's just a nice piece to talk about. So, All right, I'm going to give away three more rolls. So if you are uh, watching and haven't chatted in a while, make sure you do that. I'll give you guys about 45 seconds and we will give away three more rolls. So far, we only got seven in the chat. Now we got 10, 11. We got 61 people watching. All you got to do is say something in the chat and you'll be eligible to win three rolls and you get to keep what we find. Uh, so basically NIFCs 2002 to 2020, silver or errors. Um, we can do that. We can give those away. Now, Richie Rich, it looks like you're back in the chat. I didn't hear from you if you wanted to keep that 2013 Denver NIFC we found in your rolls. So if you do, shoot me an email. Um, shoot me an email and let me know you want it. I need a mailing address and I can get it out to you. Uh, it's not super valuable, 50 cents to a dollar. It's just neat because it's not meant to be in circulation. So uh, it's not hugely collectible or anything like that. But like I said, I'm, I'm happy to put it in the mail for you if you want it. All right, we're up to 23 eligible users. So I'm going to go ahead and pick somebody in three, two, one. Oh, quirky quick quip. He's won twice tonight now too. And he's new to the channel. I've not seen him in a lot of chats. So if it's rigged, man, it's rigged for the new people. Thanks, Richie Rich. So I need to, um, we'll leave it up here, but I, let me, let me do this. If you're going to want it, let me Sorry, I was just putting you a little envelope together in case you do claim that in, in, in the mail. So I don't lose track of it. All right, quirky quick quip. Let me know you're here. Just say something in the chat so I know you haven't left. And we'll, uh, we'll get into these next three rolls for you. All right, there you are. We're doing your rolls. You won again. I don't know if you jumped in and left, but there you are. So these next three are yours. This box is at least somewhat interesting. I wish we had some silver to go with it, but...
Really nice 1988. So somebody was saying 86 and 88 were like nice mint set coins. That's definitely a mint set coin, but still just a clad half dollar. I'm working on the proofs over here. I'm trying. Time to go to bed. All right, Lee. Thanks for joining us tonight. Really, really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. All right. What we may do, I'm going to get through the top half of the box because it is getting late. And what we will do is uh, rolls 26 through 50. I'm just going to open really quick. We're going to edge hunt and see if we can find some silver. And then I will do the um, EOS giveaway. Now, this is a cool find, Richie Rich. Uh, I'm sorry. This is, this is quirky, quick, quip. Uh, this is something that you may want. This is a 1987 Denver NIFC. Now, this is a coin that was only released in mint sets and proof sets. Now, this would have been a mint set coin. Um, it's kind of one of those weird NIFCs that's hanging out in the middle of nowhere. So 1970, 1987, and then 2002 through 2020. So this is the kind of coin that I get excited about. Again, not a ton of value here. It is circulated, but it is a cool coin. So if you are a collector of any type, if you're interested in coins, this is kind of a neat coin to have. So let me know if you want it. I'm happy to throw it in the mail. If you're just perusing by the channel and not that interested, let me know that as well. And uh, we will just keep it. I'll throw it in my stash. And we got one more for you, I think. Quirky, if you're still there. Cool, but no thanks. Awesome. Well, I don't mind it because I like hanging on to them. So, 2021. I wish we were finding silver, though, because that's a lot more exciting. Now, I did have somebody in the comments today... Uh, it was on one of my shorts, and I think it was the one about these 264 half dollars. I can't remember. But somebody came in and said, yeah, that's that's cool and all, but they're still just worth 50 cents. And I'm, you know, it's like I don't know how to respond to that. Because yes, it's still a 50 cent piece, but when it's got ten dollars worth of silver in it, it's got ten dollars worth of silver in it. So all right, quirky. Nothing for you since you've passed on the 87. Maybe we'll add that to the end of stream giveaway with that proof as well. We'll see how the rest of the box goes. Um, let's see here. All right, here we go. Um, I'm going to do three for me. The last three of the top half of the box, I will give away to one of you. And then, like I said, I'll just rip through the bottom half to see if we can find some silver. And if we do, we can add that to the end of stream giveaway as well. And then we will call it a night because it is almost midnight and I don't want to be up that much later. And I'm sure some of you don't as well. So that's like saying a $20 gold eagle is only worth 20 bucks. I know. That's kind of... That's why I said I wasn't quite sure what to say to the person. So I just responded and said, actually, no, it's got $10 worth of silver in it. So, you know, you can sell it at melt value all day long, right? I mean, it's... It, I don't want to get in an argument with somebody, but... Austin, are you in Austin? Because it definitely would be ten fifty five there. I am on the East Coast, obviously, from Georgia, and it is just about midnight. It may actually already be midnight. 11.56. So if you are in, if you are watching and you got here through the streams feed or through the uh, shorts feed, let me know in the chat. I'm just curious if you stumbled up, up, across this because you were just flipping through your phone and this came up. 
I'm very curious how many of you that is. So X Hawk, that's a lot of times how these 40 and 60, you know, 40 and 90% halves get back into circulation is people have them and don't realize they're worth something or they've been told there's silver in them and they don't know how to sell them or don't know where to sell them. So they just go, well, they're 50 cents and it's easier for me to go to the bank and drop it off or, you know, buy a cup of coffee with it or whatever. That's how silver gets into circulation today, right? It's not... It's not because, you know, Brinks has just found a box loaded full of silver sitting in the back of the warehouse that's been there since 1964. It's from people just not knowing what they have and spending it, right? Or, you know, people getting robbed and the robbers spending it or, you know, grandparents dying and giving their coin collection to their grandkids and them not knowing what it is. And that's how it happens. Uh, what do we want to see a pick of? Jorge, I don't know. Estoy inter Somebody's got to translate that. I don't know what that is. Um, Austin, if you could throw that into a translator, that'd be great. I just don't know what it says. Oh, if he found a 1909 SVDB, yeah, I'd love to see a picture of that. All right, here we go. Um, you guys, if you want to win these last three rolls that are rolls 24, 23, 24, 25. Go ahead and put something in the chat now. I'm gonna draw a winner for these three rolls. And then like I said, we will just rip through these last 25 hunting for some silver real quick. Yeah, if you send, if you send me an email and let me know I have it, I'll see if we can get it up on the screen. Oh, he wants to compare money from different countries? And I don't, I don't know how to do that, yep. Thanks, Hawk. Appreciate it. All right, we got 20 folks. We've got 51, give or take, watching. Twenty-one eligible. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and roll it here. In three, two, one. Let's go. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate that. Jr., you have won again, sir. Do you want these last three rolls, or you want me to give them away to somebody else? Hey, David. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Pass it on. Thanks, Jr. I appreciate it. We're going to roll it again. Three, two, one. TJ Jukma. Jukma. Juk. TJ is what we're going to say. TJ, you have won the next three rolls. Congratulations to you, sir. We are going to go ahead and get these open for you as we, uh, I think you're relatively new to the chat. Anything of interest or value, uh, I will mail you. You will have to claim me if, uh, or claim me. You will have to email me to claim it, assuming there is something interesting in these rolls that you want to keep. You are welcome to pass on it if you don't want it. Nice looking 72. No error, though. There's an FG there. No DDO. Eighty-three with an FG. Really nice seventy-nine. I thought that might be a proof. Again, probably pop from a mint set, but just a clad half dollar. All right, nothing there. Sorry, TJ, we got two more rolls to look through.
Yeah, I'll be honest, guys. This is my first stream that I've seen Nightbot pick the same person this many times. We've got a beautiful 88D. I think this is probably also from a mint set, but I don't know that for certain, but it's just a beautiful coin. Beautiful half dollar, but still nothing special. to the nub. Okay. TJ, last shot. Hey, Michael, thanks for subbing. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for, su for subbing and glad you enjoy my videos. I, um, I used to say it all the time, but, you know, if, if any of you guys that are content creators, it's really funny that only about 25 to 30% of your regular viewers actually click the subscribe button, which I, I just, it, it, you know, strikes me as strange. This is also, this would, I would have to say this 72 was probably popped from a mint set. Just looking at the edge. It's a beautiful coin. I'm going to set it aside again. It's just a clad half dollar, but it's very, very pretty. You guys can see that okay. Very nice though. Not value there. I'm gonna check it against my books to see if it upgrades anything, but it's not, you know, again, it's not silver. It's not numismatically relevant. It's just it's a half dollar, it's just pretty. All right, so no silver, no errors, no NIFCs, nothing to be claimed. All right, everybody. We're gonna to get to the fast part here. Let me get these out of the way, and then we'll do a quick end of uh, end of stream giveaway. And it's going to include this 1971 San Francisco proof that we found earlier in the box, which is pretty cool. And I'm gonna throw in the 1987 Denver that we found, the NIFC that we found that was also uh, passed over. So that will be the Two coins in the end of stream giveaway. Could you put that 72 back under the scope? Yes. Big FG on it too. Look at that thing. Bam! FG. Oh, it looked a little funny to you? Yeah, no, I mean, the, the two on the 72's got the weird slant on it. Yeah, I mean, I can see what you're talking about. It, I've seen a lot of these. Um, it's, it's, it's just a beautiful coin. I do think it was popped from a mint set. Or just some of the abrasions on it. Maybe somebody highly polished it. But, I mean, it's just a pretty coin. Okay, we're going to go on the Speed Demon. I need to create some space because I may go back through these for errors tomorrow. Um, and if you guys want to see the treasure chest in a little bit, we can look in the treasure chest. Uh, let me get that out of the way. Let me get this out of the way. I'm going to put this stuff aside. All right. Let's hunt for some silver in a hurry. Hey, Patrick, thanks for subscribing. Appreciate it. So no silver there. Thank you, Ty Cruz, for, for subscribing. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Welcome to the stream. I didn't even look. 14,803. It's we're moving. Channel's growing. Just a chalky looking 77. Just yeah, that's clad. So all we're doing, guys, those of you that know, sorry to say it out loud, but for those of you that don't know, we're just checking the edges at this point for something that's going to be silver. And so you know what that looks like. Here is a 1964, one of the ones I found at the gas station in my most recent hunt. 
or my most recent short. Oh, geez. I'll do a smaller one because I just dropped everything. It's easy to see that silver in there because it just jumped right out, right? So that's all we're doing for these last 25 rolls because it's getting late. Email has been sent. All right, I'll check that out in a minute. guys I'm looking at this uh... so we're looking at this email faz that you wanted to see again it's gonna be probably a little hard to see but uh, there's the front of the 1909 s that was shared with me and that is definitely in some rough shape now, I think we're saying there's a VDB on this, but I don't know. Isn't the VDB supposed to be right there, or is it on the front? I thought the VDB was supposed to be right there. I'm not seeing it but I know less about that than maybe some of you. Between the stalks, they say. Yeah, it's still tough to, for me to see. Maybe you guys see it in there. I'm not, I mean, maybe that's the D, V or the B, I'm not sure. Down here? Oh, there's the D. Okay, I see it. D, B, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That is pretty cool. I mean, it's questionable, but... Okay. <laughs> Not going to argue with anybody. Uh, to me, it does... I didn't think it was supposed to be that low, but... I, I, I don't know. All right, roll, uh, what is this? Roll 31. So far, no silver. Bicentennial. Uh, I believe they did fake that coin too. Somebody in the chat just said that. I do believe that coin is, you know, that somebody has faked it in the past. 2023 is in that one. Yeah, I always, I'm, I'm a big fan. If, if there's ever a question, it's the kind of coin you flip up, you put a question mark on it and then find a coin shop or find a coin show near you and take it in and have somebody, have somebody who can validate it, validate it. That's, I do, I mean, I do it all the time. I'll find stuff, you know, like that no FG we found earlier that I honestly don't think is a no FG. If I have questions, I'll take it to my LCS. And a lot of times I don't care what they say. What I care about is how they react. So if they get super excited about it, the words that come out of their out of, out of their mouth is irrelevant to me.
Okay. Uh, we are on... There's so many 2023s in this thing. That's actually a 22, a 21. Nothing. We got some NIFCs there. There's a 2013. Nothing too exciting. I think we found one of those earlier, but it's an NIFC. Yeah, ooh, I know. Super exciting. I actually, years ago, my first year of doing this, I mean, I went box after box without silver. I mean, box after box after box. And so most of my videos were literally me finding NIFCs. I mean, we're talking weeks of me posting videos of finding, you know, coins with holes in them, stickered coins and NIFCs. And I actually had a few people in the comments that were like, would you please stop? <laughs> like, this doesn't need to be a 20 minute video of you finding NIFCs. I thought it was pretty funny. But it's like, if that's what I find, that's what I find, you know? 95, a 21, 21. Hey man, I think the, uh, James, I think everybody hopes it's real for you. It's just, it's one of those things you don't want to get too excited about it and then find out it's been fake. Here's a 2016 NIFC. Yay, NIFC hunt. But uh, we're all rooting for you. you. It's one of those, we hope it's real, but don't be disappointed if it's not. So we've got nine rolls left, guys. And then just get ready to do that final end of stream giveaway. 2,000 in the back. A lot of 2021s and 22s. Bicentennial, 2021, 1984. You know, the worst part of this is cleaning up all these half dollar wrappers off the floor. My garbage can filled up about 40 rolls ago. Yeah, welcome to Sunday on the East Coast with you. Yeah, I don't like hunts like this, but it is what it is. There's a 2017 Denver. So the NIFCs have finally come out to play a little bit. That's a 21, 21. It's a really nice 2017. Practically uncirculated. Again, nothing to write home about. Okay, five rolls left. Now we're going to give away our proof. And our one NIFC that's cool. Ninety-one. Running out of space to drop these rolls. Oh, I got excited. That one looks silvery for a second. It's not, though. Yeah, there's no silver in there. It's just discolored. It's a 73D. How hard is it to return coins back to the bank in the Atlanta area? It is not hard at all. Um, I usually take back two boxes at a time because some of my branches actually have to unwrap the rolls that I do. 
and put them in bank bags and they have to fill the bag to $1,000 before they can return it. So I try to return 1,000 at a time to make things easy for them. Um, some of the branches I take back, they've basically said if I return a full box, they don't even have to unwrap them anymore. They basically just slap some tape on the box and send it back to the Fed. Um, and so I rotate between two banks and about four branches for returns so I don't pound any one bank or any one branch with returned coins. By the way, everybody, this is the last roll. I'll show you the box in a second just to show you. Um, but I've just found that the banks I'm working with are just lovely and enjoyable to work with. Um, you know, if they ever push back or say that anything is becoming annoying or a nuisance, I immediately cease and desist. And I had one of the banks that I'm now using again, years ago, the bank manager pulled me aside and was like, look, we don't mind you bringing coins back, but you just, you, you got to slow down. It's too much volume. So for about six months, I never returned anything to them. I only picked up coins from them. Um, so listen to your banks, listen to your tellers. Um, for me, I, I just spread it out. So like I said, I, I don't want any one bank to be like, dude, this is, you, you returned $10,000 worth of coins this month. It's, it's out of control. I, I'd rather two or three or four branches each get $1,500 or $2,000. And then that way it's, it's not a problem. But there's our empty box if anybody needed to see it. So that's the end of the hunt, fellas and girls, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Um, we are done. I am going to do this little giveaway. So if you are still here, if you're still interested, let me refresh my screen. That is the wrong screen. You guys need to go ahead and put something in the chat. I will let you know how many people are in that. I'll give it a couple of minutes to make sure anybody that's still watching can uh, make sure you, you do hit the, the button. There's 61 currently watching. So if you would like to win, where did I put them? Where did I put it? This 1971 San Francisco. Oh, I flipped that thing around, didn't I? No, I just flipped it on that one screen. Give me a second. Transform. I've got two screens going for my uh, scope so I can see it. And now I, I flipped it upside down and I can't figure out how to flip it back. Where'd I put it? Order transform. There it is. Flip horizontally. There we go. Now I can see better. So this is our 1971 San Francisco proof. It's actually a beautiful proof for having been in circulation. Uh, we will be giving that away to the next winner. And then the next coin um, was won but passed on, and that's okay. It's a 1987 Denver, not intended for circulation coin. Again, these were, when we talk about not intended for circulation, this is the definition of it, in my opinion. This was produced in mint sets. It was produced in proof sets. Now, this coin would have come from a mint set because the proofs were all San Francisco. I believe that was the only way these got out into the world. And they might have sold rolls to collectors. That, that's possible too. But these were never made or intended in the volumes to be circulated. So this is one of the cooler and harder to find NIFCs out there. Again, you're never going to make a bunch of money on it. But it's still my favorite one to find. So we're going to be giving those two away. So if you're interested, I got 26 eligible from chatting. Again, getting back and looking, we've got 60, well, it's down to 55 concurrent viewers. So if you are interested, make sure you do chat now. I do want to say a big thank you to everyone that came and hung out and watched me blather on for two and a half or three hours or however long I've been talking. Sorry, this is our second stream in a row without silver, but that's how it goes. The silver is elusive. Um, but I appreciate each and every one of you that whether you stop by for just a second or you were here the whole time. Um, thank you guys so much. Uh, many of you are new or at least some of you were new and you subscribed. Thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, make sure you do check out our memberships if you're interested. It starts as low as like $1.99 a month. And your main benefit is that you do get to see most of my videos early. And I do prioritize my communication back to my uh, channel member. So if you shoot me emails or hit me up on Instagram, it's not that I ignore people. I try to get back to everybody. But if you're one of my members, I get back to you quickly, right? Like you're you're in my friends list at that point, right? So um, check that out. Uh, I do have a, a, a website, GA Coins and Collectibles, where I've got some information. I have some silver for sale out there. I have all the equipment I use on YouTube. 
A lot of my Amazon affiliate links are out there. So um, feel free to check that out. And uh, what else? I've got four years of content out there. So if you're new to the channel, uh, definitely check out a handful of my playlists like new to coin roll hunting and my Epic playlist. Cause that Epic playlist, while uh, n not always my best work, cause some of those videos go back four years. It's got all the really cool stuff I found, the big dumps of stuff. So um, anyway, this was fun tonight. Thank you guys so much. We got 31 eligible viewers or 31 eligible users in this giveaway. To win, you do need to be a resident of the United States. If you are in California, I'm sorry, if you're in like Canada or South America or something like that, it's just too expensive to ship to those areas. Um, so let me know. I mean, maybe I could PayPal you or something, a couple buck or two or three. Um, I'd rather do that than spend $15 shipping you a dollar worth of coins. Um, but if you're in the United States, all you have to do is shoot me an email, say, hey, I was in your stream, here's what I won, and uh, I need your home address. Uh, and give me your name and your YouTube handle so I know it's you. So, okay, well, I have blathered on long enough here. It is 31, 32 eligible users. Um, and if things are going like they're supposed to, or not supposed to, if they're like everything else, it's going to be between Quickie Quick and JR and uh, MB, I think, because they've won like 50 times tonight. But, uh, where is the super chat? So if anyone wants to super chat in this vertical format, I think there's three dots in the upper right hand corner. I think there you got to click there. Or maybe it's somewhere in the chat. You can also donate to PayPal directly. I think I've got it. Let me let me do this real quick. I think that will show you where you can donate if you're interested in donating to the channel. Um, something you can find on my website as well that for a $25 donation, let me let me grab them real quick. Hang on. There we go. For a $25 donation, I uh, will send you, I have 3D printed coin roll crimps. Um, right now I can only do yellow and gray, but uh, I can do, typically I only do five in a set, but I can do the half dollar, the Sacagawea dollar, the quarter, the nickel, the dime, and the penny. Um, those I send out for a $25 donation. Um, and you can learn more about that on the website. But uh, anyone interested, I'm not begging for tips. I'm just, it was, I was asked, so I figured I'd talk about it. So it's there if you guys are interested. All right, so enough of that. 32 eligible users. Yeah, they're not bottle caps. They look like bottle caps, but they are actually coin roll crimps. And they say Georgia Silver Hunter on the back. And we've got the letter inside, and they actually will crimp coins. So they look halfway decent. I've got some rolling around here somewhere. Hang on, I'll show you one. So if you ever wonder how those eBay people give you uh, bank wrap rolls and they're in funny paper, this is how they can do it. And this is how people say I'm cheating and faking, but the problem is I don't, I don't have the paper that uh, the banks use. So I can get these kinds of wraps, but I can't, I can't do the bank paper. And just so you guys know, doing this by hand, it takes about, I don't know, a minute a roll. So for you to fake a $500 roll, box roll, that, that, that'll take you more time than it's worth to fake some silver, just in case anybody's curious. Oh my goodness. Chris Kaloudis gave a $50 super chat. Are you insane? That is crazy, man. I really, really appreciate that. That is insane. Thank you so, 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 so much. And for that, Chris, if you want the uh, coin roll crimps, you let me know. Shoot me an email. I'm happy to uh, make you a set. I've obviously got two sets made here already. Um, I will happily put some in the mail for you, man. That's an, an amazing super chat. I really, really appreciate it. Let me know. Shoot me an email. That is, that is insane. I really, really appreciate that. You have no idea. That was really cool, man. Okay. So I've actually lost a bunch of people in the giveaway for talking so long, but I just want you guys to know how excited I am about this. All right, here we go. Our two giveaways. I'm going to go ahead and push the button. Uh, mine won't because they're made of plastic. Now I wouldn't roll highly numismatic things, um, honestly, because, uh, just in case it did rub off on the coin, I use it to roll things like bicentennial quarters, um, copper pennies, um, anything that I'm keeping, I'll do this. Anything that's super numismatic, I put in plastic tubes. All right, here we go. 24 eligible. 
I'm pushing the button. I'm done talking. Good luck, MB. In five, four, three, two, one. F oh my goodness, he's complained the whole stream. Faz that coyote, phase that coyote has won the two coin giveaway. After all of his noise, the whole stream. <laughs> Holy crap, that's awesome. Good for you, man. I appreciate uh, all you uh, being in the, or for you being in the chat all day and keeping up the chat. Um, I think that's awesome. That is absolutely amazing. So, uh, and I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. Faz, Faze, shoot me an email. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> send me that 87, Faz. Shoot me an email. Let me know. The 87 goes to James Benson. All right. So here's what I need, guys. I'm happy to send both out. I need you guys just to email me with addresses of stuff, but let me do this in front of you on camera so you see it. So... You're going to take the 71S, right? That's yours, correct? So that's going to go in there. Richie Rich had won the 2013D, which I'd put aside. I'm not going to get rid of that. Uh, I'll put it in there. Let me see. I've got it around here somewhere right here. 2013D. And we're going to put that in there. So we've got his. And let me go grab another one for the 87. 87D is for James. Okay. Another envelope. We said James Benson. All right, there we go. So I just need you guys, like I said, email me. I need addresses. I will get those out in the mail here early next week. I know last time I did a stream, I said I would do it by like Monday and it took me till Tuesday or Wednesday, but I assure you, I will get them in the mail. Um, that's fine. Just, just shoot me the email. That's, that's cool. Just, you know, do the needful. Let me know your uh, full name, or not full name, but your screen name and your address. Thank you guys so much for joining. I, again, I really appreciate it. Chris Kaloudis, you're a channel member, $50 Super Chat, absolutely amazing. All you guys that hung out the whole stream, absolutely amazing. Thank you guys. You, all, you make it worth it for me to live stream, and I don't live stream that much. And uh, for kind of just throwing this on the calendar last minute, uh, I had a lot of fun. So thank you all for coming. I'm not so sure I like the vertical format. I know it drove a lot more views today, so I may do this a couple more times. We'll see how it goes. But uh, if you got any feedback for me, feel free to shoot me an email. Um, always happy to get some feedback. So thank you guys. Appreciate it. You guys, hey, take care. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Uh, yeah, I was just about to hit stop. But yeah, Faz, I just need your address and screen name. And I need an IRL name as well. That's fine. Um, please do. And... Uh, I need James Benson's as well. So I, I don't know if James is still in the chat. James, I need you to send me an email as well because I need to know where to send that 1987. All right. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it. Take care. See you in the next one.